scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Every time you watch evil loom around your life and you keep quiet and keep silent and hope it will change, you have made the biggest mistake. Are we together? Evil never, never lives by itself. Are we together? Don't wait until it happens too late. From the onset, attack it immediately. Attack it immediately. Are we together? Your phone is missing. Tomorrow your laptop is missing. Next tomorrow your shoe. Don't wait. Already you know you are, you are sensitive. Close your door. Blast in tongues for 15 minutes. Let me tell you something with Satan. Satan experiments. He pushes something and then sees your depth of spiritual sensitivity. When you are carnally minded, you will look for foolish explanations and then he will suspend it for a while so that you don't pray. He attacks an issue. When it's about to get too much, he knows you will pray so he will relax. You will remain in that condition, then he brings another one. Before you know it, you have been eaten over by darkness. Whether it is in the middle of a night, you turn and it looks like you felt something on your face. Listen, listen, let me tell you. I won't tell you to do something I'm not doing. Go and ask the devil. You wake up and there is a wicked dream. An evil dream. You went to sleep after prayer. You are in a period of fasting. Then he mocks you. You lie down to sleep. And you see someone comes to sleep with you. Or one kind of nonsense. Then you just stretch and say, no problem. No. No. Light or no light. Worship or no worship. Charge yourself. Call the spirit by name. Listen, let me tell you, when men sleep, things happen in this realm. I have told you, you lie down to sleep and men make incantations, attempting to project your spirit to realms so that they plant things and you return back. You wake up with things you did not sleep with. Are we together? We'll pray again. One more prayer, just one more prayer. I like you to pray and say enough is enough. Whether you know the name of what is happening to you or not, blast in tongues. The word has come. It's my season of triumph. Shake it, take it out. Mysterious disappearances of items, mysterious coincidences of bad luck. Mato soto prikatai. Pray online, pray outside. I sanctify my borders. I cross the gates of Leviathan. I cross you in the name of Jesus. I lift up the standard of the blood. I invoke the blood. I invoke the blood. Matos Sodos Kadia. I command the elements of creation to stop cooperating with any human agent that 
uses the elements of the supernatural to project evil to men we curse you we curse you we curse you by the god of heaven Hallelujah. The Bible says, resist the devil. It didn't say discourse. It didn't say hope. It didn't say wish. James 5.13 says, is anyone among you afflicted? Let him pray. That's the, that's the requirement. Is anyone afflicted? Affliction is not just sickness. When things are not happening, as the word of God said should be let him pray let him pray all I need is you Lord. is you Lord. all I need is you All I need is you, Lord, is you, Lord. All I need is you. That's why we're here tonight. For all I need is you, Lord. All I need is you, Lord. Is you, Lord. All I need is you. One more time. All I need is you, Lord. Is you, Lord. All I need is you. Hallelujah. Spirit of the living God, we acknowledge you tonight. We're gathered here tonight, connecting from across several cities and nations. Lord, tonight we have come to learn, we have come to receive of the Spirit. We have come to learn from the fountain of wisdom. Therefore, we pray that the hallowed bread be broken tonight. Grant us illumination and understanding. Grant us impartation capacity to rise to deeper and higher dimensions in the spirit we receive this because we ask and we declare that we will give you the glory in the name of jesus amen god bless you please greet someone and be seated there's a lot to do tonight jesus we bless you hallelujah for as long as we are alive, we will continue to lift up the name of Jesus. We will continue to see that his glory is revealed. One of the things that the advantages of appearing before God every time is that fear dies in your life fear is a very wicked spirit it's a dangerous spirit fear has the ability to magnify anything negative are we together when we come before the presence of god the things that brought fear to you when you come and watch other men that god has helped squash them into pieces and trivialize them then you go back full of faith because Satan loves it when he surrounds you with fear and makes it look as if, ah, this is over. This issue in your life and family, there is no hope for it. These are the kinds of platforms where we call the devil a liar. And we don't just say it by calling him. We, we prove the excellency of the victory and authority of the spirit. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We're discussing the dominion mandate this is part two 
and um, what a joy I consider this topic very 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 instrumental to our understanding and our growth as you know the church of the Lord Jesus Christ has a ministry and one of it is not just to be the light of the earth but to equip believers our assignment as ministers of the gospel is to prepare believers to open them up to all the dimensions and the possibilities that are required to be effective in representing Christ are we together and so we piece together all the dimensions that will be required to grant you access to reign and this for me is one of the the cardinal teachings of the Christian faith the dominion mandate because this encapsulates the will of God right from before the fall of man and it still represents his desire for us today um, we discussed a few things last week we last week was basically an introduction to what I call the original plan it is important for every believer to know and to understand the original plan the average believer has no idea um, as to why we are here what necessitated our being here why the evils um, when you understand the dominion mandate all of a sudden there will be a synergy the happenings around you why the devil seeks to destroy men why the Holy Spirit was given to us why we must be effective without revelation our commitment will be false and they will not be able to last are we together now so we looked at the original plan and it's found in Genesis chapter 1 let's look at 26 the Bible tells us how that when God was going to make man the prime of his creation Genesis 1 and verse 26 and God said let us make man in our own image we discussed two things I said how that number one Adam was not the first man created no Adam was the first man who introduced our dispensation that is true but Adam is not the first human species created the first created in the image and the likeness of God are we together the Bible is full of several instances of beings and events that happened that predated Adam himself the mere description of the word subdue as part of the the instructions given to Adam suggests that there is an enemy an enemy looming somewhere hallelujah and I did tell us that um, it's important for us to understand that the ultimate please listen the ultimate for the believer is not just heaven now I know that um, evangelically we teach that everything is heaven and we're not necessarily wrong in that sense but the whole idea is not just heaven God's idea is not just to save sinners something happened there was once upon a time where the man God created was not a sinner are we together but there was an instruction given so Adam was not on earth just because of sin he was on earth doing something sin came and met him interrupted the plan so I, I gave us an analogy last week how many of us remember how that there was an original plan are we together and that plan is contained in the word dominion a system of legislature and governance in one word dominion is governance an exercise of sovereign control now the, the nature of man's dominion must be um, it man was not given absolute dominion man was given delegated dominion there is a difference are we together now the an adumbration of man's dominion was revealed by Joseph in Egypt are we together when Joseph was exalted he said you know I have been made a prime minister the prince every other thing was under his control it was only in the issue of ranking that Pharaoh who was a representation of the type of the father Jesus being Joseph being the type of Jesus and the Egyptian woman he married was the type of the church are we together now so all of those are prophetic events that reveal several things and um, we see how that God gave man authority the Bible says the heaven even the heaven of the heavens 
has is the lord's body says the earth has he given that's a very important thing the earth has he given to the sons of men when man was being given that access to dominion satan had it are we together satan was somewhere around the earth and he had everything clear and from that time he began to seek for a way to negotiate with man and the only way he could get man to fall was to do get man to do what he did treason rebellion are we together he came through eve and then lured adam and i have taught us again in this place how that adam fell willingly everybody say it adam was not deceived the person who was deceived was eve Eve was deceived Adam fell because of love he didn't fall because of ignorance are we together and that remains true today there are few men who fall because of ignorance it's easy to deceive ladies it's very difficult to deceive men they fall because of love the second Adam also fell because of love Jesus was not deceived the father didn't say just come and look at it and then just close heaven and say i meant to say you should come and die no it was a well calculated thing his wife that eve had now fallen there was a separation so the second adam there were many things that parallel jesus and adam he's not just called second adam just because of the nature of sin no are we together now he's called the second adam because he did what adam did and so he looked at his bride and he stripped himself away of his glory and he came to join that bride like adam fell from the glory of god are we together now so redemption is a restoration process redemption was not an initial agenda redemption was a restoration process of course in the infinite wisdom of god a program already had been created like that but experientially speaking right in the garden there was no discussion about apostles and prophets and teachers and koinonia and churches and meetings and all of those no 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 it was about government it was about governance it was about legislature it was about replicating the fullness of the life the glory the character the nature the influence of heaven to be able to find expression across all that territory i hope you know that not every part of earth was like the garden of eden the garden of eden was a type of god's intention because as i'm going to be teaching you it is how god advances so he creates a prototype of his intention plants a man there and gives that man capacity to extend that influence so adam's assignment among other things was to be able to piece together the resources that made eden eden and start extending eden and there were two major ways he would do that one by creativity the other by reproduction take note we are going to deal with this we are discussing very deep kingdom issues now reproduction creativity all other dispensations did not know that there was a possibility of reproduction by a man meeting with a woman producing seed it was always creation not reproduction it was our dispensation that introduced another dimension the only way things were extended in dispensations before us was creativity so if you wanted something it was purely a product of invention but now God revealed a dimension of himself you see marriage has nothing to do with a man and a woman marriage is a dimension in god he only brought the woman out of a man so that they will be actors on earth the primary purpose of marriage is not just children the primary purpose of marriage is to reveal something about god then children come as an advantage so when you lose the prophetic implication of marriage the physical activities are just a waste that's why satan likes gay marriage it's not about a man and a man a woman and a woman it's about corrupting a program are we together now yes so when a man likes a man or a woman likes a woman it's not just inordinate desires that's that's not the issue the is is that men are actors on earth and satan is rewriting another script 
to describe something bad about God because he dwells in light there is no darkness so he brings a man and a woman these are the only actors who can best describe that mystery called marriage so Satan is switching scenes and bringing a man and a man and a woman and a woman the realm of the spirit understand the message that is being sent are we together reproduction reproduction I'll be teaching you different dimensions of dominion later on and you find out that authority exercising authority is just one out of the many ways are we together yes there are many facets authority exercising authority is one of them by speaking passing decrees number two the ministry of prayer especially intercession is another system of dominion number three reproduction you are not manifesting dominion if there is no reproduction hallelujah so the fall of man was a veering off of the original plan for many of us the foundation of our christian journey just starts with the cross or the coming of jesus it looks very spiritual but it's wrong the foundation must start right from the beginning are we together i taught you something in theology that we call the law of first use or the law of first mention that means that when you want to examine the character of a word or the the usage of a context you have to search for where it was first mentioned study the context of his usage and that's what you use as a compass are we together now so if you want to know the purpose of man we must go back to the book of beginnings genesis are we together now and then see what god said about that man you don't search around for scriptures of prosperity and wealth and then find out where man just appeared in the scene you must go down from the beginning and god said when man appeared he never had any sound on earth the first sound his ears will hear was the speaking of his creator be fruitful multiply etc etc and all of that so it's important that we look at that and study it very importantly the fall of man led to the necessity of redemption jesus himself coming the entire program of redemption was a restoration program not a restoration to heaven not a restoration to heaven please listen carefully not a restoration to heaven a restoration back to god's original agenda even heaven itself as we know is a subset of that agenda revelation tells us clearly i told you the bible finishes with the beginning of a new dispensation am i against heaven no am i against the reality of the fact that saints will be caught up to the heavens no not at all the bible acknowledges that but then it does not stop at us being in heaven we are returning back again right to the earth so it is important that we understand um god's system this series has three main areas we're dealing with the second today the first is what i call the original plan helping you giving you an exegesis of the beginning to understand that god's original idea was not just for us to have cars and houses go to school get married have children train them the way an average believer and well-meaning believer the way an average believer is trained is not makes him or her not to be productive let me tell you something it matters how you are trained and it matters who trains you are we together let me repeat myself it matters how you are trained and it matters who trains you the person who introduced jesus to you did something to you very serious it was more than a message the person who has introduced the faith life and the spirit life to you may have communicated his or her limitations it matters what you are told about satan it matters what you are told about demons it matters what you are told about the holy spirit are we together it matters what you are told about purpose and destiny it matters it's not enough to just have information it is important to study the communicators of those informations 
because this is where error and limitation came from so we have sincere people who are well-meaning but they have not paid the price to take advantage of the ministry of the holy spirit and the word to study comprehensively the program of god unfortunately our bible colleges our schools of ministry do not do so much justice in opening people to god's blueprint so the entire scope of the average believers understanding of what we call our pilgrimage the journey is this i am born one day i receive an evangelical message and then i'm told to give my soul to someone i cannot see and then i hand over that soul to him and then in in return i hear that he gives me a life whatever that is i just know i have it and then i'm also told that my name is in the book of life meaning i've escaped hell hallelujah glory to god what else do i do i'm encouraged to be a worker in church then i'm 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 encouraged to get a wife or a husband that is like me then two of us are encouraged to make sure we have children are we together then we are encouraged to make sure we train those children as a sign of responsibility then we are told to just live our lives giving glory to god regardless of what happens and then we are told to prepare for death that is that is that is another writer script that is not god the word of god that liveth and abideth forever is very clear as to god's intention so most believers are largely confused you were in secondary school and they told you just keep moving university just finish up you came from the world into the university from university they say now that you are going into the world and you know all kinds of sympathy happens and then you now enter into the world and people say get a job and you get a job and then get a wife or get a husband have children and then try to have cars depending on your level of carnality if you want to if you, you are broke and nothing happens just manage it and all sorts of 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 teachings that look like they are nice then one day you find out that you are sick you don't know why you are sick and then you go to a man of god who says you are healed and you don't even know why you were healed why is god interested in healing men why is satan interested in afflicting people then you find out that a dear lady gets married listen i'm giving your work your faith work meaning and then the lady is barren and she goes to the doctor doctor i've been a nice lady i didn't live a wayward life what is happening and the doctor says that's what i'm trying to figure out i was trained to study just give me time and the doctor is confused cannot find out what is wrong and the innocent lady lives in pain and her whole ambition is oh god give me a child or give me children think how confused we are on earth everybody is trying to suggest to someone how they feel their lives can be better so someone says look if you don't have money your life will be bad and then the other person says so this is what you know i've been looking at okay let me try to get the money then you become a millionaire and you are happy and you find out that that realm has another trouble you cannot even explain are we together and this is how we live we receive advices from confused people who confuse others we mentor our children they grow in that confusion and the earth is just a cycle of failure it is important that among the the curriculum that we are given we must be able to give meaning to our lives that's why people commit suicide why not just because they are frustrated their frustration only amplify the meaninglessness of living that's why people do all kinds of stupid things with their lives abuse the word abuse means abnormal use you will misuse everything god gave you if you do not know why it was given are we together yes when you carry 10 bottles of alcohol with the writings written boldly that it destroys you you are not pouring it on the ground you are transferring it into your body it's called abuse an abnormal use why because you do not know that that body was a loan like you collect a loan from a bank if you collect a loan from a bank and you misuse it you are already signing in for disaster so we abuse our bodies when god gives you a wife and you don't know why a wife came they ask you why are you married you say well i just found out that i was age was not on my side and they said i should find somebody it so happens that this is the scapegoat who i now call and you abuse that innocent woman are we together or vice versa there are women who abuse men you now find out that god gave you a calm person who says sorry for everything 
and now he happens to be the victim of your emotional confusion your the 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 confusion that surrounds your trying to define your life and you vent it on your spouse and where both of you are bold enough to confront one another the children become the victims it, it is still an extension of confusion when people celebrate golden jubilee they celebrate it angry wondering what they've been doing for 50 years oftentimes most of them are not healthy they can't hear well they can't see well they made costly mistakes in their youthful days that they are paying the price now they didn't have access to the mysteries of the kingdom they've destroyed their lives they are poor they are broke their lives are meaningless it's alarming the rate of suicide right now it used to be in the west you know the developed nations and now even in africa you get up you don't find your child you just see a letter farewell and you see someone on a tree now if we don't do something about this let me tell you right now counseling is big business psychology psychologists are getting a lot of um, um business now because there, there are all kinds of trauma centers not just from plane crash so a human being can be alive and just enter a trauma center and say look i need help why i don't know what i'm doing i'm seeing things i'm hearing voices my life is confused we need to return back to god's blueprint otherwise we are going to live absolutely useless lives when you understand the dominion mandate then marriage becomes useful children become useful prosperity becomes useful education becomes useful are we together when you understand the dominion mandate it will make sense to you every requirement the bible gives so we cut away from god's original agenda and then we keep telling people don't use don't live a useless life live a life of meaning and the person say what is a life of meaning get a job get a job and the person says, okay he gets a job and fights all over his office till he retires aren't you seeing the way our lives are it's a circle think very carefully when you were 10 years 12 years just in with your little friend or your little brother or sister about the confusion in life now look at you are getting to 40 you have joined that vicious circle of confusion even as preachers so many preachers do not know why god gave them a church god just called me and said raise me a people a people of power a people of holiness a people of grace a people of prosperity and we put that that team on our churches our members come and they don't exactly understand what we're saying someone gives a testimony oh god gave me a breakthrough we clap but to what end god made me a minister god increased the dimension of his grace then pastors chase after anointing and you ask them why and they say my church is not growing my life i can't i can't live like this no bread on my table i need to access power i need value so they access the anointing like escapism from poverty then when they become a little anointed they are now happy doors of ministry are opening and then honorariums are coming and all of that and then with that that's how people live i want you to refuse to live a meaningless life are we together you must insist somebody now is about to get married tomorrow in this confusion he's confused he's holding the hands of another confused person and then they are starting something they don't even know where he's going will they dance yes will they eat yes will they be happy eventually no no this is not about demons god's original agenda is the key to joy and happiness not money not education ask those who have these things rich people hang themselves and drop their money and will it to a cat why because i have five useless boys in my house give this cat my inheritance our world is gradually demonstrating that disobedience to god is costly so we must return back to see you high and lifted up shining in the light of your glory 
Pour out your power and love as we sing holy, holy, holy. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. There are many of us today. Our parents are angry with us. Why? Because they want you to follow the path they followed. And the word of God is already telling you that ah, they like the way their lives are. And they, they do not believe that something they are doing is why their life is like that. They tell you just follow. Don't please, don't embarrass us. Just let it be like that. Oh, I want to get married to who? Yeah, the brother, he's starting off. Mm, don't do that. You see, if you do this, we are going to beg. Are you not seeing the way our lives are? And then people control people and we are victims of men's thinking. There's a lot of gap. Let me tell you something. You need to re-examine the concept of age. This thing called age. The most excellent part of age is the wisdom attached to it. If age fails to come with wisdom, it is useless. Did you hear what I said? Yes. That a man, I'm not, you know, we have, I have, I have so much respect for elderly people. You're elderly here. I honor you with all my heart. But I'm teaching, we need to redefine our philosophy of I am old and I am young. Because there are many old people that are responsible for the pain of people on earth. Age gives you access. It should give you wisdom. Only age does not just add wisdom on its own at best it can give you sophia human knowledge the fact that you made a mistake does not mean you have found the answer so you can tell us in 1961 i made a mistake did you find the answer you may still be in that ignorant at that point you are just familiar with the problem not the solution how many old people mentor young people you are about to marry and oh no problem i remember i married in 1941 that asked that man's wife whether she enjoyed marriage see her an old woman she would tell you i only enjoyed marriage for three weeks in 40 years that's the person mentoring two people and he said listen to me no i won't listen to you no sir i will respect you but i reject that kind of life you will not define that template for me Do you know why God is called the ancient of days? You know why? The, he is called the ancient of days because of one word, wisdom. Take away wisdom because Satan too is an ancient of days. He's old. The Bible tells us Satan is old. What is the difference between him? At least they are old enough. I think any man that is older than 6,000 years is old. Satan is not 6,000 years old. Before 6,000 years, he was already called that old serpent. Yet he's as foolish and stupid as whatever. Because it is only a fool that says in his heart, there is no God. And the Bible says even the demons, they, they, they try to ignore it. So they deceive men into believing there is no God. Get your life into your hands and trust God to use the word of God as a compass and redefine your life because there are many of you looking at me right now we are doing what we call jack of all trades master of none this is how they taught me to live oh this is how i will live i have my little job with nmpc another person has a job with one uh, one para paramilitary and then we are on our way going we don't know the purpose of children so we abuse them people give birth anyhow and make the children liabilities to men and society you just come and somebody passes a child to you and say take care of my child as if as if the person was part of the arrival of the child why because the people doing that do not know the revelation behind abba abba father if before you source a thing you must be ready to sustain it this is what should govern getting pregnant no time do we have the resources the wisdom the grace the capacity for a child if a poor man gives birth to seven children he's a foolish man correct not just because he wants to demonstrate that he can give birth 
he is abba source you must sustain so you leave those children and they become armed robbers remember i told you satan is looking for bodies and because those bodies cannot be handed over to god satan will find available bodies and they plague our society today kill people rape women and children maim people destroy the peace of society we have violated the dominion mandate and this is why this teaching is very necessary are we together revelation chapter 5 and verse 10 the original plan was what i discussed i spoke to us extensively about the fall of man and i spoke to us about how that redemption was a remedy system now that you are born again you must be able to have a redirection back to god's original agenda and i said a few things to us i said how that there are certain conditions that are required number one is your natural birth for you to be able to stand and execute the dominion mandate one is your natural birth you must be birth born of a woman because when jesus came he came to redeem all those who were descendants of adam listen let me teach you something everybody look up hmm. the blood of jesus is only applicable for descendants from adam if you were not part of that dispensation the work of grace and the cross is not relevant to you otherwise satan and demons should also be forgiven because a statement was made on the cross it is finished what is the it everything that had grieved the heart of the father the legal claims of justice had been appeased the bible says he shall see the travail of his soul isaiah saw and he shall be satisfied so if he says it is finished that means the demons that neglected their original estates that are now in everlasting chains alongside satan i've told you satan is not the most wicked of the spirit no he's not the belief that satan is the most wicked of all the spirits the king of all the spirits is is not necessarily error it's just a limiting knowledge because satan is not bound in everlasting chains there are spirits more wicked than him that are bound in everlasting chains the bible says that they were bound even for the sake of the elect are we together I pray that God will give us wisdom you see how peaceful your life will be this is what Satan does not want us to know man of God listen this is what Satan does not want your congregation to know because if you don't know this story you won't see the necessity of your victory and you will not know that you have been restored to now begin to walk in dominion and demons will play games with your life they will play games with your destiny you will live your life under the mercy of situations and circumstances so your natural birth then your spiritual birth or what i call a rebirth the bible calls it a regening regeneration regime every possessor of adam's genes born of a woman is born in iniquity are we together now born in iniquity means that legally you are under the influence of satan the prince of the power of the air as wrong as well as the elements in this system and you cannot carry out the dominion mandate with the genes of adam so there is a regening a regeneration are we together now when jesus christ comes into your heart a real miracle happens there the bible tells us there is a translation the bible says he that is joined to christ is what help me one spirit one spirit not two spirits one spirit so christ comes to live in you he creates his throne in your heart tabernacles in you in the person of the holy spirit now watch this the moment that happens you are now ready not to dominate you are not ready to dominate you are ready to now begin the process that restores you back to god's original agenda the dominion mandate now this is where many believers miss it and pastors ah, pastors 
if you do not understand the difference between prophecy and experience you will mislead people the speakings of the bible are twofold the prophetic communications of god are we together now and the experience of that communication when god speaks from his perspective it is done because god has no past no present no future he's called alpha omega time is not something that god is limited by he is not even limited by eternity eternity is still a subset of him if he dwells in eternity then somebody created it correct are you getting blessed tonight and so you must understand that this god that we are talking about is not limited you must understand his systems and how he works when god speaks he can say sam when you enter that house and by the time your fifth child comes you see that and sam can say i'm not even married that's the speaking of god god will never say when you marry uh -uh. he talks to men as if he's talking to himself this is how, this is why many people do not know god can look at you and say promise take care of these 30 children whereas he doesn't have a job that's god because in his word is also the grace to convert that prophecy to experience so he will not speak to you like he's speaking to a man let me tell you one way to know that a word came from god is that there will be no resources at that point to make it come to pass whether spiritually financially etc if god speaks to you and you have the resource to do it you had your brain or a demon noah build me an ark to stadium two stadium of i mean the ark of noah was stadiums too like that are made of gopher wood how many years plantation agriculturist will give you that noah spent 120 years building that how many years 120 years but the way god spoke it it was as if rain will come next week this is a mistake many people make god can say i have sent you today this is how god speaks because your whole lifetime is still his today so god says today i have anointed you as a prophet to the nations then you get up with lack of understanding the systems of god and now ordain yourself and try to get visa to ghana or smuggle your way to uk and you die somewhere in the forest and it there will be is it a lie no god spoke to you but you did not understand the difference between prophecy and experience it was paul who was teaching the church in hebrew and began to teach them in chapter 2 and told them he says now god did not leave anything under the feet of man are we together now he was trying to quote um, the the psalm of david right what is man that thou art mindful of and then he says but now that's experience in god's eye and in god's mind nobody should be sick in god's eye and in god's mind there should not be one sinner on earth because right from the foundations of the earth the lamb was slain go to the prison is there a thief there please answer me is there a thief that went into the prison today yes so does that mean that the efficacy of the word is not working no it is he already said it is finished and they are still criminals it is finished there are still barren people god will look at someone on a wheelchair and still say it is finished yet he's still there the day that the anointing and the faith of that person comes he enters into the experience of that word that's why god is resting but he says there remaineth a rest not for god for his people what is that rest the experience of his finished work so we keep moving around with ignorance and making a fool out of ourselves and demons are happy and hope we continue like that and then at the end of it the equation does not add up and then we are frustrated and humiliated is god helping us tonight tonight we are going to look at the second aspect and that is discipleship the dominion mandate has three segments number one is a revelation of the original plan the fall of man and the restoration through jesus 
that's the first the second is discipleship what is discipleship a system of training for reigning a system of reprogramming a system of recalibration into the image and the likeness and then next week we are going to look at the third segment governance so these three segments number one the original plan the fall of man and the restoration process that we call redemption the second is discipleship discipleship is not some some doctrinal curriculum of people no it is the way people are trained to carry out the dominion mandate listen nobody reigns just because you have received jesus remember the scripture that i gave you last week right that they that received two things number one the gift of righteousness number two the abundance of grace so two requirements to reign one you must receive what the gift of righteousness no man can walk it is god's very nature imputed through faith when you believed in the finished work of his son his death the burial the resurrection and the glorification not just the resurrection jesus did not just ascend and is hanging in the sky he is seated it matters because efficient starts with the revelation of his seated position so it's not just the death i know great men like kenyon and all of that talk about the death burial resurrection but it's more than that the death the burial the resurrection and the glorification that coronation was what david saw the lord said to my lord the lord the ancient of days said to my lord the christ sit down at my right hand until i make your enemies your footstool hallelujah discipleship why why discipleship let me tell you something because you see when you receive jesus christ everybody listen carefully when you receive jesus christ automatically it gives you access the life of god is in you give us genesis chapter 1 please verse 26 god created man there was a twofold design and this design this configuration must be gotten back for man to be able to walk in dominion number one is what his image the first purpose of discipleship is to carve in you the experience of the image of the christ the spiritual dimension the spiritual composition are we together now paul said this he says my little children in whom i travail until christ be formed in you the formation of christ in reality the indwelling of the word is a reflection of his image because the bible says let us make man in our own image and the bible says christ who is the word is the express image of the godhead he that has seen me has seen the father are we together now philip said show us the father and then it's sufficient he said philip have you been so long with me philip and yet you have not seen the father whoever has seen me has seen the father so christ came as the image so man must first be made in christ now listen let us make process let us make process the moment that life of god comes the making is not automatic the life is there the spirit of god is at work in you if it were automatic then you do not need the word and you do not need the, the ministry of the holy spirit the formation of christ now please everybody listen this is one of the indices for spiritual growth the moment believers get born again if you have ever wondered what next let me tell you what next is the spiritual development of those people so that the life the character and the traits of christ will be fashioned in them are we together now the image so pastors apostles prophets evangelists together that fivefold ministry they work harmoniously to help people achieve this are we together the image of christ being formed in you 
that's what you call character that's what you call the fruit of the spirit the fruit of the recreated human spirit when you read galatians chapter 5 verse 16 paul was teaching the galatian church and he said this i say then please give it to us galatians 5 and verse 16 we'll read 16 then we'll go down to 22 he says this i say then walk in the spirit and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh so the key is what walking in the spirit you must be trained to walk in the spirit the bible says to set your minds on the things above and not on the things of the earth it takes a training the name of that training is discipleship discipleship is not just an indoctrination into a church's curriculum and beliefs are we together because many of us hate the word and i understand because it has been used religiously by people who are not even born again discipleship is how people are made to reign verse 22 he says but the fruit of the spirit there are all kinds of theological understandings but the fruit of the spirit is love listen joy peace long suffering gentleness goodness faith meekness temperance he said against such there is no law meaning that it is impossible to be a violator with these conditions this is the atmosphere of the spirit the fruit of the spirit combined creates an atmosphere that becomes formidable no power and force of hell can penetrate that all these things you call the fruit of the spirit are and they are ingredients that structure something the bible says that we are built into a spiritual house like living stones one block upon the other you are adding love joy peace patience gentleness let me tell you every attack on a believer's life comes when there is a lapse in one of these are you hearing what i'm saying listen are, are we learning am i am i blessing you every attack on your life will come based on an advantage that was taken as a result of the absence or the deficiency of this from where comet um how does the bible put it quarreling and all this among you you see that when there is no love there will be jealousy when there is no love there will be bitterness when there is no joy the bible says for with joy shall you draw out of the wells of salvation is that true it says the joy of the lord is your strength when your spirit is weak there is no joy joy is not laughter joy can only be given by the spirit unbelievers have happiness only believers can have joy is of the holy ghost joy has nothing to do with circumstances it is a state of being that is based on a revelation and the presence of the holy ghost count it all joy my brethren when you go through die how can you rejoice knowing this knowing this this is the secret of the joy knowing this without knowing it you cannot have joy so when you are going through diverse situations you lost a loved one you lost a job something is not working well ordinarily you should be sad but knowing this there is a revelation that the trying of your faith work at patience and then that let patience have her full course then it will make you mature it will make you unfruitful knowing this hallelujah are we blessed we must build the fruit of the spirit in people you can be educated as educated as anything and lack gentleness goodness meekness and never be promoted correct you went to school but you are not gentle at all the company throws you away because you lack the fruit of the spirit do you know all the the commandments of nigeria are a human attempt to get men to have the fruit of the spirit so when they tell you pay a bill of hundred thousand naira and all of this is their own way of trying to force you to feel the pain of stealing somebody's thing it is their way of trying to give you love when they jail you because of impatience they are trying to get you to be what to have long suffering because you are not patient 
that's why you wanted one million in one day and you jumped somebody's fence or you stopped a luxurious bus let me tell you the chaos in our society is because there is the absence of the image the charisma, the image of christ every law when you whip your child it is because he violated something that is here when a husband beats a wife something is missing peace sister when a brother comes to say i want to marry i want to marry you do you know why you don't say yes immediately you go back and start cross-checking you don't even know this is what you are cross-checking does this guy love me it's not just love god alone does he have joy this brother is an angry brother peace i watch what he did to somebody one day long suffering this guy looks like a hustler he puts his hand in everything is he gentle no the way he approached me was bad is he good no he's greedy does he have faith he come you know and all of that and when you calculate all those things the other side of the equation creates your response and you go back and say no now you may not know that this is what you were checking when someone is advising you he's helping you society can never go into decadence when the image of christ is enforced the image of christ is the unifier whether you are from kogi state plateau state listen to me whether you are yoruba or Igbo, all those disparity in culture that is as a result of bad habits can be neutralized if the image of christ is formed in believers so when you see someone who is hausa and someone who is um Igbo or someone who is yoruba or someone who is from the south south four of them you will not see any noticeable differences why because they have allowed the genes of adam that was a part of the course that came through their earth and programmed something oh the men from this place are stupid the men from this place are irresponsible when you allow the character are we learning the dominion mandate it says man was made in the image it was not possible for adam to hate it was not possible for him to be impatient how did man fall because there was a pastor that said something satan became that preacher that's why when god came he said who told you not who showed you a voice reprogrammed you so how will men return back to this a voice will reprogram men the spirit of god is in his words as you are hearing this something is happening to you you are now seeing that this is not the issue of marry from here or from here this is not the issue of i am from bielsa i am from south south in our place this is how we do it all those our place when you talk like that let me show you whose descendant you are on earth there are two families one those who are connected to adam and everything adam came with two those who have been regimed 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 into another family so you cannot look at me and say you come from so so place your people are drunkards i don't know who they are i've been called out of every tribe genesis please give us revelations 5 verse 9 i want you to read it god has to deliver us verse 9 1 2 no gen um revelations 5 media 5 verse 9 revelations revelations let's read it one okay verse 9 5 verse 9 thank you okay read it one to go and they sung a new song uh-huh saying thou art worthy to take the book and open the seals thereof for thou was slain and has redeemed me unto god how by your blood out of kogi plateau state emo enugu out of the irresponsibility that comes with the men in that place out of the pride out of the selfishness out of the hatred the bitterness he has redeemed i've been called i sympathize with my people but i'm not part of that tragedy I am another tribe i've been carved out listen if you don't believe this thing you are not a christian it's not just that it's bad you are not a christian at all what else do you believe we have been called that's why in koinonia here you don't see anybody do anything which tribe i don't even want to know where you are coming from 
i know that there are two families the ones on earth and the ones in heaven were all related the blood the veil torn a family no we no man after the flesh oh your father is this i'm not saying don't be sympathetic to people in your area or whatever jesus started preaching from the jews but some of this carnality this tribalism and this these garbages we bring there is a thief in every tribe there is a fool in every tribe there is a devil in every tribe every tribe has witches and wizards there are poor people in every tribe so it's just that you know we make it look just because you saw more northerners looking stupid you come up with a theology that there are all more Igbo people and say every Igbo person is it's just money monger is a lie there are people who have exempted themselves called out not everybody is a money monger not every lady is a materialistic person just looking for a millionaire it's a lie not every brother is an irresponsible person not knowing where he will go some people have seen the end they have seen you know what i'm doing to you is a reprogramming this is discipleship i am unifying you now it is on the strength of this you can call somebody brother and sister that issue of brother and sister for many people is carnal it's just carnal because you were told to say it brother um, alpha brother femi and the rest but when men like kenneth e hagen rw shambach when they used those names it was out of this revelation i do not know you in the flesh but if you are in christ we are brothers you are welcome they extend the right hand of fellowship everybody say the image we need the restoration of that image there are many people who are not spiritual live likeness we're coming there we must teach you how to be like Christ be like Christ be like Christ that's the image the image talks of being the likeness talks of doing the image talks of being being who you are not what you do Let's go back to Genesis. Please give us verse 28. We'll discuss more 28 um, next, next week. 1 verse 28, Genesis. Now everybody, I want you to observe something. And God blessed them and said, listen carefully be fruitful he never talked of having anything you be it first then later on he now said have dominion so god's focus when he's beginning to work with man is in being first before having we have reversed it somebody gets born again today and we say you must have you must have a car you must have a house which is he he's having something he has not become he's trying to have the likeness no image so one million naira comes he has but he has not become so it will destroy him are you saying that now yes have a wife but he has not become a husband so it destroys him the primary strategy and pattern god's kingdom pattern for discipling people and nation is to focus on their being before they are having listen those who write programs for foundational classes in churches must subscribe to this otherwise you are going to produce a powerless carnal many times devilish believers that's why there are witches and wizards in church because we are passionate about having so if i am born again and in two weeks i come with a flashy shoe flashy cloth i'm showing you how much i help me preach back to me i'm showing you how much i on the strength of that you will say i have faith and the brother who has just one trouser but the gift of the spirit the fruit of the spirit is working in him we look at him and we say no this one you don't have so because you don't have the word is not working our focus is on having spiritual men rank and rate people first by being so i can look at you and all you have is one trouser one bible but i see christ formed in you you are on your way fulfilling the dominion mandate i know that this guy will soon be a principality listen believers let me preach to you 
stop focusing on having focus on being first the image comes before the likeness is God speaking to us this is a message to someone already because our society is full of falsehood men and women who are obsessed in having having why because we want to prove we live in a carnal world that only interprets and rates you based on what they can relate with none of these fruits of the spirit is something that is tangible in itself their manifestation can be tangible as you relax you relate with people and environment but you cannot know so i look at this brother and what he has is peace what he has is joy and i think those things are cheaper than money so the brother would rather kill the agenda to being and then focus on having when god begins to deal with a man you find out that the curriculum he gives you has nothing to do with things like teaching of prosperity it's going to be prayer first you are filled with the holy ghost are we together and then you begin to teach he's drumming on you issues of character holiness morality you have to greet people you move around and think i am from this i am a yo-yo guy and he says look drop all that thing oh i am if nobody talks to me i was a capon in this and god says that's that's your business and when you want to mess up he tells you listen nebuchadnezzar was not but he had he had money he had power so he could run his mouth and talk nonsense and then he was made to become a beast for how many years seven years a beast with the brain of a man the moment nebuchadnezzar recovered he became a preacher read your bible never empower people who have not become it's dangerous it's a lesson many of us will have to learn that you are a millionaire does not mean you carry a small child who has not become and give him money that's why i like Igbo people when they are doing business they bring in an apprentice no matter how rich that man is there is a limit to the exposure of that child is that true he now begins to do business and they study him one day they will leave money in the drawer five hundred thousand, and throw some small things scattered and then the man will go out he will come back and find out that one thousand was missing and he will keep quiet that boy has not become the day he ever says settle me the man will say i will slap you. if you ever talk of settling you have not become you want to have you have not learned integrity you have not learned character you have not learned submission no hmm. is god teaching us being have you become an expression many of us today i can show you that the reality of god's image has not been found formed in you because that anger is still there you've been born again for five years you pray in tongues more than everybody but let somebody just say something small your name is sam and somebody just said uh, john uh, sorry what's the name you don't know my name look i i i know who i am if you do this is you think it's a sign that you are spiritual no I can look at your life and rank you spiritually in a moment. I don't have to see a vision. Away with your cars. Away with all the money and the checks and all the prestige and the English and etc. All those things could not have him. I look at your life. When I look at your life, I'm searching for the Christ. The word of God already painted a picture. And then he says, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Then the Bible says he had something and was something but he gave them up and became 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 not possessed the possession happened when he became therefore god had so highly exalted him and given notice that people first became before they had the secular system reverses it packaging and falsehood is trying to portray something you are not so i borrow a shoe i borrow a suit i borrow watch are we together i borrow makeup i borrow hair i borrow anything what am i trying to do it's not that i i'm trying to show you i'm not cheap bottom line correct whether i'm cheap or not 
it's, it's, it's my own issue but i want you to know i am so conscious of what your perception about me that i don't mind faking everything around it but someone can sit down with gary and say no problem i'm not ashamed this is where i am now i will take it with honor and dignity if i don't look if i look cheap to you like that no problem i agree with the process but i am becoming next time somebody looks at you and tries to make you feel like you are a useless person you you cannot do this and that no problem you are becoming you are becoming line upon line this is what is happening to you in koinonia many of you do not know what is happening to you god has already given you a vision you will be a great prophet a great apostle but you are saying oh god nobody has seen me god says sit down you are becoming you want to have access to the mic you want to have access to a church your body is itching you to have access to lead a program and god says sit down you first become before you have it's god speaking to us discipleship leaders learn to discern people who have become before you give them access don't give people access as a general thing if there are four people three people you now say oh you have given you too much access let me share it with this no in the kingdom distribution is be, be as a result of a careful study i have discerned you can fake all those things and act like it but the truth is that if you are not it will show he said by their fruits not by their gifts by their how do you know them by their a gift is dash a fruit is a sign of maturity so someone insults you and says emeka do you know that when you were entering the university i already had phd and that thing stinks you and you're like i'm a doctor don't talk and the old man adam adam wants to resurrect with his foolishness and all of a sudden that regining has been crystallized and you laugh and say god bless you ah, ah. and he says is it the emeka that i know that used to beat everybody i heard of a regining let me tell you if you claim you are born again and there is no evidence of transformation you need help you need counseling you need a retreat praise the lord there are so many there are angry pastors there are wicked pastors there are angry people there are all kinds of arrogant people my name is so 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 and so and so do you know the one you we are looking at you and we are still seeing your culture if i still look at you and see your village then you are trying to say that calling out of tribe and nation has gone it's not it's not yet real discipleship training for reigning bringing you into the culture of the kingdom their way of life this is how we live in the kingdom we live through the law of love we live through the law of joy we are peaceful people in the kingdom ah my temper will kill somebody oh somebody hold me you are you are acting the moment you are acting like your village the old man is attempting to resurrect you must keep it dead we do these things and usually there are also other carnal people like us who hail us you know that hailing thing can be so demonic if we are not careful <clears throat> remember they hailed jesus and they said hail king of the jews a few weeks later on the same people said crucify him say you say yes you are looking at me crucify him let his blood be on our head we have to be careful there is one who deserves to be lifted and held forever our job is to confirm into that image here we stand David Damson and lift our hands and we will hail Yahweh Hail Yahweh, here we stand and lift our voices. Together we hail Yahweh, hail Yahweh, we will hail Yahweh.
pastor your first assignment to believers is to make them spiritual the first assignment of a man of God to believers is to extract carnality. Carnality means a way of living. They must be aware of the divine life, the divine nature, the presence of the Holy Spirit. You turn people to become spiritual. The life of God is in me. I'm not ordinary. I was born by an ordinary man, an ordinary woman from social state. But now, I am a possessor of God's life literally not just some Christian gimmicks no I believe it is a fact it's true how many believers are aware of that divine nature in them it tells the way we respond the Bible says he that cometh from above is above all he that cometh from above he that cometh from above is above all he that is of the earth is earthly I come from above born of God whatsoever is born of God overcome it overcome it overcome it challenges are not unusual defeat is what is unusual whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world and this is the victory that overcomes even our faith but as many as believed him even to them that believed upon his name gave them power to become power to become Power to become. Power to become. They looked at Paul. Ah, ah. Paul, who used to kill people. Saul, that would collect a letter and go and slaughter people. What happened? Spirituality. Listen. This is not an issue of being charismatic. If you don't train your people to be supernatural, to approach life and approach things with the consciousness of the divine life the consciousness of divinity there are great men of God all around the world who have spent their lives and spent the years of their lives bringing the church into a consciousness reprogramming and recalibrating our mind that the believer in partnership with the Holy Spirit is invincible we must restore these teachings there are many carnal believers on earth in a bit to balance in a bit to teach we have made people carnal helpless no matter what happens they say oh well things just happen like this no you are in every way divine that's why we don't walk in signs and wonders how do you stand and stretch your hands to somebody and expect a transference how do you do that how do you stand and speak there is no wire tied to you to someone outside because carnally speaking i can only see with my optical eyes but when you step back and and walk in the realm of the spirit then you know that the vistas of the spirit are not 2020 infinity infinity left only to your faith so I can stand here and see someone in overflow three and speak and expect the power of God to touch that person. Why? I wasn't born this way. It's called spirituality. There's too much carnality. That's why when you tell people God will bless you, they still want you to, they want to reduce themselves. And many pastors, this is the limitation of exaggeration on education. When you think that because I'm educated, I have a master's in this, I have a PhD in that. Now, there are very educated people in this place. But when people trust their education, and then you see them castigate spiritual things, anything that does not subscribe to the law of dy the x, they fight it. Are we together? Mm. You anoint somebody, say, what is this with this oil? They write all kinds of articles. Titan is a scam by men of God to raise money. You see them. And then at the end of that ungodly blog, they now say, my name is Pastor so and so I'm a pastor with living Christ parish or whatever it is. And that is deceptive because somebody will say, ah, this is a pastor. And you know, carnal people will relate to those things immediately because they are carnally minded. Are we together? Anything that massages the flesh they like it once you challenge people why should you come and spend the night praying what is all this blah, 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 thing 10 hours five hours three hours please we are not human beings god gave us a brain and they say that to castigate spirituality the bible says through faith hebrews chapter 10 and verse 3 hebrews chapter 11 and verse 3 through faith we understand please give it to us through faith 
we understand that the world systems 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 were framed by what please help me they were not framed by cement and water they were framed by an invisible substance called the word of god so that the things which were seen were not made of things which do appear that's why god tells somebody that by this time next year you will be a landlord and the spirit wants to receive but the carnality in his mind will fight it how shall these things be seeing that i know not a man and he says have you forgotten the power of the highest this is the mystery that makes things happen i want to show you why we don't get results god has declared that this is a year of triumph but only spiritual people can receive a carnal man receives not the things of the spirit neither can he understand them why because they are spiritually discerned let me tell you how to know you are not growing by how much you rely so much on your senses and how embarrassed you are to be spiritual about life because there are people who are embarrassed to be spiritual not just that they don't like it it's a thing of shame it's a thing of shame oh you are playing and just playing a worship song and it's entering your spirit i beg we are human beings a worship song entering my spirit what is there you are listening to all kinds of music you don't know the difference are you seeing now many people in church you have a selection there's gospel music there's another one by a, 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 a secular artist that you want. I don't have a problem with secular artists. I only have this, a problem with the spirits behind them. I love them as people, but there's a spirit behind them. Music is not all about melodies. Music is about sounds and the access that those sounds give spirits into your life. So someone tells you, look, I went to school. This I went to school. He said, much learning make thee mad. I went to school please allow me to play this song so you just play women of faith for a while just to ease the guilt of feeling carnal then somewhere in the selection something just comes babylon babylon then to witchcraft to witchcraft and you are lying down your body is sleeping your spirit does not sleep and something is happening to you how many of you have listened to a message and fell asleep and it continued playing and you followed it how many of you were sleeping and you were acting what that message was saying it now becomes graphic not just that you are hearing suddenly you find yourself in scenarios doing certain things making confessions these are spiritual things the ancient knew this we who are modern people have become so bankrupt of spirituality pastors let your people be spiritual don't pity them because they prayed five minutes and they're feeling tired and you say no you know our church there are balloons everywhere let's not make people feel you are praying and somebody falls down and the way his head hits the the, the chair even you you say kite hallelujah amen let's stop why do you stop a baby when he's walking and he tries to fall you allow them hi yes you say sorry but you don't stop the work We must be spiritually minded that's why the gifts of the spirit cannot flow in us we're not spiritual that's why you cannot believe that god can open you up that's why when you hear testimonies the testimonies come to a carnal mind and you start looking at the people scientifically i hope they are lying hepatitis cancer this lady that i know about allah it's just that koinonia where everybody will just keep quiet but me we 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 know at that were you blind blind when because of how people are carnally minded there are people who don't believe anything even if they see somebody fall down they will still say somebody pushed him somewhere Hapa. believe us you know sometimes when people argue i say ah, ah. prophecy you hear them say they gave somebody the names of people maybe there are people doing it but is it easy to read to to keep names try it is it easy to act like that carnality because we are not spiritually minded if by next week god opens a door for david down we can look and people will now say this guy he touched something we always 
credit unusual happenings to the realm of the spirit that is a clue that to remain unusual you must remain in the spirit you are like mere men there is nothing worth celebrating the dominion mandate is a restoration into a life of spirituality that the spirit realm governs the physical realm yes it does the spirit realm you must build yourself the divine nature of God the character of God the second dimension let's look at it quickly is the likeness please give it to us again Genesis 1 26 likeness talks of the functionality how God functions the image of God talks about who God is his being but his likeness talks of how he walks mm. believers there are some of you who God saved many people through your hands but you don't know how to build them because you have not been taught the first thing is to help them become spiritual that's why when we when people get born again here we introduce them to the prayer department not just to be workers in the house why because praying they are filled with the holy ghost they are praying you begin to teach them the value of the word of god you begin to teach them the value of communion you begin to teach them the value of corporate fellowship these are foundations then when they are strong then you begin to teach them how to walk like god you start teaching them speech everybody say speech the first teaching on how to function like god is how to speak like him hmm. you reign you reign you reign you reign Kadosh. you are mighty on your throne you reign you reign you reign you reign Kadosh. you are mighty on your then you begin to learn that he has made us unto our god listen kings and priests your priesthood talks of your ministry to god your ministry spiritually that kingly dimension talks of governance and legislature as a priest the jurisdiction is the secret place the place of incense the place of ministry where you send that incense it will rise to heaven the prayers of the saints the intercession fellowship communion koinonia that's priesthood then you take away that priestly regalia and you put on your crown and your signet ring and you hold your scepter and step out that is legislature that is governance everyone must manifest this king priest dimension you are a priest when you come to the house of God you are ministering to God you are offering up worship and intercession for the saints you are advocating for the destinies of men you are communing with God Almighty that's priesthood then you take on that regalia of kingship and then you legislate and the Bible says where the word of a king is there is please help me where the word of a common man is there is sound but where the word of a king is so i have been made a king and a priest not unto my village unto god and so i can legislate listen the first thing that must begin to change in your life to prove that you are functioning like god is your speech your speech ah we are the weak ones we are the ones who are this and that uh -uh. You know, the Bible says, do not say before an angel I made a mistake. Your speech, it matters. Are we together? Your, your words begin to be cultured by the word of God. You don't speak all kinds of things and invoke woes upon yourself. Your communications become spiritual. Bless you. Good morning, sir. Oh, Aluta Continua, Victoria Escata, you are prophesying. Others are speaking, they are not kings. But you, you have become a believer, you have been redeemed, yet you are still speaking. 
you have come out of egypt egypt is still in you and now when you speak you are sending sounds to the realm of the spirit and you are programming things they speak and it doesn't happen you speak and it happens the suffering continues you massage hardship pressure puts you and pushes you and everything that comes out is your hey why you why you and, and you all this kind of very very unbelieving talk hallelujah you hear a bad report in the name of jesus christ a thousand may fall by my right that's a king speaking ten thousand by my by my right side none shall harm me only with my eyes will i see and behold uh, uh, the reward of the wicked ah i will make sure you don't marry and she tells you to your face and you smile a cause causeless shall not stand there is a mystery that no you see all this threat the, the woman said this ah uh -uh, a cause causeless shall not stand are we together yes will you ever finish this house the hand of zerubbabel that started this work it's not something you just reminisce in your mind it must be focalized it must be focalized i am the head and not the tail i am above and not beneath the gentiles come to my light lord favor surrounds me like a shield this is a believer talking let me tell you what ordinary people would do the people in our villages know this you see what they do during festivals the major activity in festival is talking and dancing then death follows later on in the evening people start dying because people are talking talking chanting things you are moving around you just sense a presence that is not of god and don't sit and say Kai, i'm not sure be sure by praying in tongues start tongues first let let praying in tongues precede you while you are verifying so that should in case you can be praying and hear a shout from another room and say oh i see There are human beings that carry spirits. They are innocent. They are on the way. They are on their way coming to your house to introduce spirits, not unwillingly, but all of a sudden you sense an urge and you begin to pray. And they call you and say, "Sorry, I just feel like not coming." And you know that not only have they revealed something to you, they themselves need to be helped. You can easily know the spirits that control men by their reaction when you pray, because the spirit influences them to act in certain ways. That's why many of you, when you finish praying in your house, that's the day everybody quarrels you. I teach you the mystery now. The moment you pray, agitations from everyone. You, go, you enter your room and the kindest person in your room is attacking you. The devil is sending a response. If you know, you attack him back with joy. 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 When you turn to Canaan, don't shout at me. Yes, I'm coming back from Koinonia. Say, you claim you're coming back from the church. And look at how you match this. I'm sorry. It's okay. You reign, you ancient Zion's king, Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. Break forth, thou fountains of the deep, and weep, Kadosh. So you learn how to speak by faith. Mark 11, 22-23. If thou shalt say, give it to us. Jesus is teaching the disciples how kings speak. He's teaching them the language of royalty. Listen, this thing is not just some, some you know, many believers after working for a while, we claim that those who do these things are baby Christians. It's a joke, a principle that Jesus himself introduced nothing in your life will ever change until you sustain capacity to command it to he told job has thou commanded thy morning if you don't command it something else will impregnate your morning and jesus answering said unto them have faith in god the correct rendition there is have the faith of god operate like him for verily i say unto you now whoever shall say to what say to what so it is okay to speak to things not just to human beings jesus our high priest spoke to a mountain spoke to a tree 
who told you they don't hear biology did not teach you that they hear but jesus the spiritual teaches you that they can hear who told you the earth does not hear who told you that when you stand and speak over your family miles and kilometers apart they don't hear so you can stand and begin to legislate they call you at home and they say in the last three days everybody has been sick you say okay i know what to do and sometimes it's not just becoming a priest you jam the door put your crown carry your regalia i send the wind on Aaron. carry the anointing from here to that location you must believe this thing i'm teaching you i'm programming you to be spiritual and how to function like god if thou shalt say unto this mountain be thou removed that means when you speak to things you must be specific specific give us this day what do you want ah, i want i want to do well that's a vague and careless prayer you must call it by name whatsoever adam called that was the name thereof so you name your destiny peace you name your marriage joy are we together you don't turn and say this stupid husband no way my marriage is heaven on earth i call it what it is I refuse to be poor i reject it it doesn't glorify god it doesn't help me fulfill my assignment i decree and declare favor surrounds me if there is a garrison of favor men are coming to bless me today this is a king speaking you are impregnating your morning while others are sleeping you are speaking Shagato favor comes in the name of jesus no accidents no nothing I am immune to activities of witches. I am above. I come from above. While you are speaking, somebody is sleeping and laughing at you. By evening, they tell you the person is in the hospital. When he comes back home, he will never laugh at you again when you are speaking. That laughter is, a, is mockery. Mockery is initiated by a spirit. When Jesus wanted to raise the dead and he said the dead was sleeping, People who were crying turned and started laughing they mocked him and said get out of the house go out get out of the house i want to raise the dead and when he was alone he said little girl talita kumi i say unto you arise are we together yeah when abraham had a conversation and he heard that god was speaking about a child sarah had it and laughed that laugh was sarcasm one of the proofs that somebody has a wicked spirit living in him is how sarcastic he is when believers make faith proclamations over their destiny you see someone while he's jumping his shoe has already caught and you laugh you see that kind of laughter is a spirit it's not just an act it's not just a negative disposition that's why when we say pray and speak and other people stand and they're wondering ah, ah, you mean this is how these people speak that's what that's what brought us here we acted like him in the name of jesus people are blessed tonight the miracle service is a blessing koinonia is a blessing everything flourishes in this ministry because a word waters it words are powerful god rules the earth by the word of his power so you learn the speech of the kingdom you learn how to manifest faith but one of the things that you also learn are the systems of the kingdom. I'm teaching you how to be like God. Let me teach you a deep mystery. Our time is gone. I'll teach you this and then we'll just pray. We'll continue next week. Have you been blessed? God never does anything in the Bible as a process twice. Read your Bible. God's system is to initiate things once and build a system around them for continuity believers hear me i want to teach you how to function like god that's why many businesses fail that's why many people cannot carry out the dominion mandate we'll discuss it next week when we talk of governance he says be fruitful then he says what multiply replenish subdue you can't do those things if you do not understand god's system so god initiates a process as a template then designs a system around it watch this god created man as her dispensation knows once and never had to create man again are we together 
he created man with the woman in him and then he brought the woman out and designed a system in them and says continue the result of that reproduction 7.2 billion people on the earth in spite of an average of eight people that die per second the earth is still growing because a man built a system systems are powerful are you hearing what i'm saying systems are what powerful when you do business by repeating the same thing you are not acting like god you create a product this is what many people have done google and all of that they don't know about you yet you carry their laptop because there is a system they made it once that's why coca-cola and the rest they have different branches around the world what did they program in those branches systems everybody says systems the greatest conglomerates in the world today operate through systems the same thing happening everywhere the catholics roman catholics i love them among other reasons because of the power and the dexterity of their systems systems maintain consistency it is how god functions god has not needed even when man fell when he was about to wipe the people in noah's days he still preserved the seed and out of those eight families new beginning he started another race systems jesus came as the firstborn of the begotten he died and nobody has had to die for his sins again a system of salvation whoever believes in him shall not perish are we blessed yes africans do not understand the systems of the kingdom so we do the same thing again and again do you know why god created things like videos systems so i don't have to preach the same message twice i preach it once and it is captured in a system and while i'm sleeping i am multiplying the influence to millions of people it's called systems don muen has never met with you yet you have been blessed by his ministry the anointing also obeys systems that's why everybody in every corner listening to don muen's songs will feel the anointing think about it you are not a leader if you do not master building systems when i learned this principle it made my life easy look at how god built a system god himself transferred governance to man and programmed that man and handed the earth to him systems now man is mishandling the earth largely but it's a system the first crops that came out of the earth the bible says god himself planted i hope you know read your bible god planted trees systems and then in the tree he built systems what is another name for that system a seed this is how god operates a seed is not money a seed is a mystery that represents the system of continuity continuity in every man born of a woman there is a seed that represents potentials for continuity in every woman there is a womb that receives a seed as potentials for continuity so once there is a seed and there is a womb there is reproduction hear me once there is a seed and there is a womb there is what reproduction a seed without a womb cannot bring reproduction a womb without a seed cannot bring reproduction you need to find the wombs of there are many wombs on earth a woman's womb is only an adumbration of many other wombs the morning has a womb every day has a womb you can impregnate it with words and it will give birth in the daytime the pregnancy that happened in the night can be delivered for you in the daytime your mind is a womb information are the seeds when you plant informations in your mind like a woman gets pregnant over time it will deliver to you and change your life are we blessed god never does the same thing twice when you find out that you are trying to do the same thing as a leader the dominion mandate is not working in your life there must be a system of continuity let me tell you it's one of the reasons why we never grow and never flourish 
how you know there is no system in your life is that your absence stops continuity when your absence stops continuity then there is no system so you are the ceo of the company you travel for two weeks you come back and meet hellfire there's no system nobody knows what to do no system if i'm not around for one year in koinonia it will still continue running the only thing that will be missed is my unique grace and anointing why systems hmm. that's how pastors should train pastors you should be if 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 pastor alpha pastor femi and promise are all my pastors for instance if you hear pastor alpha you should not feel bad that i was not there that systems i have reproduced myself in him when you hear him you will miss me i love it every time i'm not around and people send me a text they say apostle we miss you but god koinonia was fire i said that's right systems but because of our inferiority and this village mindset that we have grown with every time you are not around and things don't work you are happy do you know why that's why many leaders do not mentor and train others because they think it is their way by exclusively capturing knowledge and keeping it how many people have died with secrets that can turn the lives of people how about anointings no if he carries the same anointing as i'm carrying will he ever respect me again look at god he didn't wait for you to be renewed he gave you the holy spirit straight up immediately after confession he granted you the holy spirit he didn't say change no he granted you the holy spirit to help you part of the ways that we rule and dominate is by building systems around things your prosperity is not something that is in the hands of god today your prosperity has been programmed in a system are you hearing what i'm saying god can in the systems are supervised so it's not like they are random there is still an individual supervising them the same way you put systems you can come and look at it and you can decide to influence it that's a sign that you are the owner of the system somebody can slaughter someone as a thief and go back home and get his wife pregnant that system will not stop because he's a wicked man now you'll go to hell if he doesn't repent but as far as that pregnancy is concerned an unbeliever who does not know god taps into god's system of wealth and abundance hallelujah i was telling the school of ministry students that there's something i'm going to teach them about finances that i've not touched and i've not taught any of the sets ah it's a revelation that god gave me that i mean if i teach you that and you don't prosper i don't know how to help you again i i don't know how to help you systems let me give you a little tip of the iceberg that being employed forever till retirement is a cause because in god's system you start under people but eventually the goal is for you to be established yourself so the spirit of servitude is such that you continue to serve a man if you not everybody will have platforms like churches businesses but even under those platforms there must allocate a place that allows your grace to function that is the spirit of god and is the program of god that's why he carved out earth and gave man but he gave man delegated authority that means it is exousia but it is still supervised so he can call man to order like pharaoh could still call joseph to order but pharaoh did not interrupt it is the system we run koinonia with that's why sometimes you never come and see me check ah, have the leaders fixed this flower well systems there are men of god you are preaching you are preparing salmon they just call you and say one wire has caught you bike by yourself to sabo and buy the wrong wire and bring it back before you finish you you forgot everything and then you are stressing yourself when you are doing everything by yourself it's a sign that you are not functioning like god let me show you why many of our parents are under stress they did not mentor the young people so they kept doing everything now the youngest person in the family is 31 yet is still father and mother that is providing food because they did not teach them how education does not teach you how 
it just enlightens your mind it is mentorship it is discipleship that teaches you how so a man of god starts a ministry and there are ordinary people and then you start teaching them how to prosper you show them the pathways to the anointing are we together you don't hide it there's nothing to hide these are the secrets you guide them you mentor them they receive measures of that anointing that is upon you you have built a system and then they begin to function the key to hardship is to not be able to reproduce yourself through systems you will pay the price and you will never last everything that has lasted and outlived the founders subscribe to function like god we're going to pray dominion the chaos in our society today is because we have not conformed to his image and his likeness his divine nature and his functionality you see why it's important to get people saved because that is the condition that can guarantee the potentials for dominion ye must be born again that's why we make altar calls that's why we're still going to make altar call tonight because there are people scattered inside outside who need Jesus now most preachers don't tell you why they just say come to Jesus there is a hellfire somewhere to burn the living daylight out of you and you run out of fear you are born again and you don't know what you ran from and to what dominion this is not just the issue of heaven it does not take so much to be assured of heaven because it's not something you do by yourself but when it has to do with your reigning listen the degree to which you have become like God in his image and his likeness is the degree to which you measure your success and your prosperity are you seeing why life cooperates with others life cooperates with God and everybody who functions like him life was designed to cooperate with God alone if you are not God life will not cooperate with you so our needless sufferings and pains is because we have fabricated methodologies by ourselves attempting to get God's result our way let hope let it rise darkness trembles in your own someone is rising beyond every shadow every shackle please rise up on your feet let go rise darkness trembles in your holy let go let it rise darkness trembles in listen i want you to look at your life carefully we're going to pray now you can trace every negative thing to your life to your inability to have conformed to the image or the likeness there are troubles and sicknesses that have come to us today high blood pressure because of worry when the peace and the joy of god is in you listen there is no drug that can give you peace there is no drug that can give you joy when you smoke cocaine and snuff all kinds of things they don't give you peace they attempt it you know why people try getting high and they take substance they are looking for peace they are looking for joy they are attempting to use things life was designed to respond to you once you are a possessor of the gift of righteousness and then abundance of grace that comes through knowledge through knowledge the bible says good understanding giveth favor but the way of the transgressor is hard could it be hear me that this is the missing link in your ministry could it be that this is the missing link in your business could it be that this is the missing link in your family why are things not working i'm always fighting with my wife i think i made a mistake i married a wrong woman it's a lie i think i and my children are stubborn there may be something 
you are fighting your children because you are trying to force them you are violating something about the dominion mandate you don't force people you give them a revelation you force your children to wear your, the clothes you want you force them to read the course you want every time you force men rebellion is inevitable that's why the children revolt but when you give them a revelation you see that God never forces us. I set before you life and death. I set before you blessing and cursing. But here's my advice. Choose life. Why? So that you can live. In other words, I want you to live. And if you must live, the key is choosing life. Not I force you to live. That's what parents are doing. And that's why children revolt. When you resort back to giving them revelations look it looks like i'm hard on you but it's because i love you i've made mistakes in my own life and i want you to be a great gentleman i'm proud of you and i see potentials that gentleman by himself will start talking in well by himself will stop dressing like rags and remove all those things and start babbing well and not looking like a thief the gentleman will subscribe immediately because you gave them revelation but when you use force on people you are acting as the antichrist man was not mentioned in every element that was given that man should dominate man was not given there are pastors that dominate members and they never see they are anointed but people never like them they can walk into your house any day anytime cook for me fry chips for me i'm a man of god add this and that for me after all elijah told the shunammite elijah did not force her home. the woman had a right to refuse the trouble in the world is a negligence of the dominion mandate nobody was born rich nobody was born poor are we together people program themselves something in my life my life is hard creation is hostile to me in the garden of eden nothing fought adam nothing satan was still alive but adam was immune he only gave access lift your voice and pray and say lord what key do i need to apply to my life please pray pray why are things not working in my life he spoke and said let them have dominion why is my marriage not working why is my job not working why are doors closed over my life why do people hate me i'm anointed why is my church not growing why can't i experience the anointing of the holy spirit why am i poor and broke and begging at all times let hope rise darkness trembles in your own one more time. Yeah, let hope rise tonight. Darkness trembles in your holy light. Shay na 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 ma say na na ni. Let hope, let it rise tonight. hallelujah hold on genesis please give us something just came into my heart and i want to share because genesis chapter 4 we are going to read verse 8 let me show why you why our world is a wicked world because you see every time people fail instead of taking responsibility that i am violating the principles and the laws of dominion usually we look for people to fight the bible says and cain this was after the sacrifice are we together now the sacrifice of abel was taken and the sacrifice of cain was rejected what was wrong violation of patterns violations of systems are we together now Cain got angry Cain can be your uncle Cain can be your senior brother you see where enmity came from I am the senior brother in this family how can this younger one be successful 
that's what was happening there are men who fight their wives there are others who fight their younger ones there are people who hate themselves and the bible says it came to pass that when they were in the field that cain rose up against abel his brother and slew him what fruit of the spirit was missing no love no love no love are we seeing there now next verse and the lord said unto cain listen where is abel thy brother and he said i know not that's the liar there at work in him the manifestation of satan at work am i my brother's keeper no kindness no he had become hardened and wicked verse 10 listen he says and he said what hast thou done the voice of thy brother's blood cried unto me from the ground verse 11 he says and now thou art caused from the earth which had opened her mouth to receive thy blood oh dear i think i've lost myself the verse i'm looking for i think is the verse before verse 8 that says um cain was angry and god told him if you have done well will it not be accepted maybe it's, i'm sure it's the verses other verses in front we'll leave it because of time that's the scripture i was trying to look for that after cain met with god and was angry god told him come on that why are you angry that i accepted your brother's sacrifice and rejected yours if you did it well will it not be accepted but if you do not do it well sin lieth at your door i think it's before yes it says give us verse six verse six we'll read six and seven and the lord said unto cain thank you this is the verse thank you media why art thou what angry god is speaking to you now emoji why are you angry at another man's church that the church is increasing and you are not increasing businessman why are you angry at another man's business why are you angry that uh, your sister is having her children well cultured he says and why is thy countenance falling that's frustration verse 7 if thou doest well according to patterns shall not thy shall thou not be accepted then he says and if thou doest not well sin lieth at thy door see let me tell you every time you don't do well you will not get results and when you don't get the results anger frustration will come in that's why you hate successful people there are times that you see somebody with a nice car and just say thieves all these young pastors they are the ones who know how they are manipulating you see someone anointed and you begin to speak cynicism is a product of not obeying the dominion mandate was given to all men everybody say all men the ministry god called specific people into ministry but capacity to execute the dominion mandate legislature and governance reproduction fruitfulness the capacity to subdue was given to all men there's no need for jealousy lift your voice and insist and say lord from tonight you are giving me enlightenment i have the gift of righteousness knowledge is causing grace to be abundant for me i insist that i begin to reign 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 pray we're rounding up i insist that i begin to reign pray no one may have achieved certain things from where you come from but you are the game changer lights me low lights me low lights me low like a candle lights me low lights my life lights me low like menorah lights me low lights me low lights me low like a candle lights me low lights me lord lights me lord like a candle lights me lord lights me lord lights me lord like a candle lights me lord lights me lord 
Light me, Lord. Pray it. Light my life. Light my life. Light me, Lord, like a candle. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord, like a candle. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Hallelujah. I'm rounding up. Listen. There are many of us seated here. If I ask the number one need of people here right now is finances because of recession. Do you know why? There are people sitting and waiting for God to change their financial situation. I guarantee you in the name of the Lord it will never change. If you are waiting for it to change one day, the kingdom has a system built in. The price you have to pay is Lord light me. Open my eyes. Where am I missing it? Is it that I'm not tithing? Is it that I don't have relationships? I'm not building value. Where am I missing it? Because there are people, Nigeria is suffering today because we are missing something in the dominion mandate. We don't produce, we are not fruitful, we are not reproducing. So the earth is fighting us. Hallelujah. Let me give you the prayer point. You are going to say, Lord, show me the key. Some of you already have some keys, but there is a key you need. You can look at it and never see it until it is shown to you. A man can receive nothing except it is given. That you are opening the Bible does not mean illumination is entering you. Lift your voice and cry concerning that issue that attempts to dominate you. Open my eyes. I can continue to be sick forever. Pray. Lord, I'm tired of financial struggles. I'm tired of hardship. I'm tired of being carnal. I'm tired of being weak. It is in my destiny to be spiritual, supernatural, anointed, divine, full of knowledge, full of grace. Pray, pray. Shagada bakata praska da balia kata prosese de bash. Embra kato kusoto praka to shekata balakata. Rakata kata kata barato. Brande ke se ke roto soto pre ke te li adabash Hallelujah My brothers and my sisters I tell you by the grace of God There is enough grace and power To turn your life To bring any It's not very difficult No It's just your connection Stop the arguments, the war that is happening in your head. Can God do this? You can't leave Lagos, leave the east, leave the north, and come and sit down. You are wondering. You believe that God brought you to waste your time? No, sir. No, sir. I tell you, in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, oh, can, can the hepatitis go? Can this go? We are talking God here. We are not talking the the chief consultant of a, a, a hospital, the God of heaven, can that yoke go? We are nine people in our family apostle. Nobody has a job. It's not about the job. The devil has seen that in the job of those nine people is the bread of maybe 30 children. Those nine people, the money from those nine people will empower a church to preach and save somebody who will become a mighty man and for the sake of that mighty man those nine people will remain poor it's not about the family hallelujah if satan had his way he will kill me crumble this ministry make every koinonia message around the world to disappear all of a sudden in everybody's phone 
if he can do that he can beat his chest and say I've tried ah but there's a song that says Satan shame unto you you know the song don't sing it oh <laughs> we make our boast in the Lord in the next few minutes we are going to so rubbish the devil in this place let me tell you first of the October we we'll let we we'll let the devil know what is in Nigeria he has tasted what is in America what is in Russia what is in this and then you see your life change a miracle is a wonder that that the limit hold, hold his hands try to stop him two of you you know that game they used to play that you try oh yeah do it now yeah don't no don't, don't draw him too much sorry you are not very kind now watch this are you seeing that now this guy can be growing old every year you are celebrating birthday and nothing is moving in your life because there is a devil somewhere determined to make sure you don't rise let me tell you my assignment this is me now coming into this equation my my assignment is not to cut what is there my assignment is to carry this like this this one because you see I can cut what is there and pass. You can enjoy breakthrough while you are about to go. He's going to hold you and say, come back. Apostle has gone. So the, the job has not been done. My assignment by the grace of God is to carry this mountain you are seeing and carry it out of the way. One, that's number one. That's not all. Then my assignment is to turn you to the direction. That's where prophecy is powerful. And then turn what would have come to you from that delay if i leave you like this you are not oppressed but you are you still don't have breakthrough you are free from oppression but you have not entered your inheritance so you can't testify but whatever that is when it comes to you and you go to it and then i leave you my job is to and and the thing is that all these things happen through words the word that is sent to supervise and make sure you get to your inheritance. And then by next week, you are coming with an employment letter and you are on your knees saying, God, what is this? What is this? Then two weeks later, five people, all barring in your family, are saying, ah, I, I, I think I'm pregnant. Then you just remember, ah, what has happened? A man of God that you have space for 500 people in your church and yet you see 10 people 15 during a convention they grow to 30 by the time service is finishing there's 20 back and all of a sudden something happens and one spectacular miracle happens by the next Sunday in a way that even the critics say I'm here in your church today to watch what happened and you said I never believed I would buy canopy for an overflow but the anointing God brought you here to change your life listen to me I repeat God brought you here to change your life he didn't bring you to just be happy that a program koinonia no this is a miracle service a miracle service is not a teaching service I will take out time and teach you but this is a miracle service there are some of you, you may not be sick, you may not be oppressed, but you need to carry something that ends every argument. Result, my brothers and my sisters, is the end of every argument. I can lie to you, or you can deceive me that you are having a pocket square, and I can argue because I'm not seeing it. But if you bring out a pocket square and I see it, this is the end of the argument. It will be stupid to still argue. At that point, you will let everybody know you are a madman. This is the result. Could it be that you have been talking too much? Let the anointing talk. Ah, I, will, I will build the house. I know God is faithful. I will do this. And God is saying, no. Moses only spoke small. And then the rod kept talking. You have been talking forever. Some of you, you are here in this meeting because there is a rod that God will give you. You stood before the Red Sea for forever. It refused to part. But God brought you here to carry something. That you go back with it and it will shock you, my brothers and my sisters. That that Red Sea will part and you will call your family and say, finally, 
we've been wondering how to build a bridge but we found an easier road that the river can part tonight i want you to know that god wants to do this number one because he loves you but number two there is a dimension of glory only your results can bring to him don't ever let anyone fool you hearing is our father glorified john 15 and verse 8 this is how i am glorified galatians chapter 1 verse 29 says and they glorified god in me not that they glorified god on the throne they looked at my life they saw that god can do this you no father no mother who gave you the job who did you know from the top you're a man of god i used to know your father as a wheelbarrow pusher and you say my brother is what god can do if it is the lord's doing it is marvelous in our eyes for as long as your life is ordinary your ministry is ordinary your business is ordinary you will continue to explain and explain and argue and explain and explain and explain let me tell you god takes away shame from our lives by giving us results did you hear what i said god does not take away shame by explaining anything to anybody he does something in your life and he does it in a way like julius berger will build a house and put b god will do it and put his signature they'll say no this business cannot be human I hear testimonies of people every time the things that God does in and through their lives a wonder please let your heart be open no don't let the devil make you come here and waste your time whether you are outside overflow one overflow two overflow three online whatever nation you are following just listen I believe him I may not claim I know everything about him but this God when God decides to stand up from his throne he said now arise from your throne God can stand up have you heard that the earth is his footstool so when he decides to stand up and say who has made the cry of my daughter to continue coming the Bible says even the mountains keep like lambs my God is mighty. Our own belief many times is the reason why God does not move. We come and sit down and pile up. Some of you have come with all kinds of forms and pictures and that's wonderful. But you are there wondering, can you move, oh God, concerning my money? Can you move concerning my money? Can you move concerning my health? Can you move concerning my wife? And God is saying, yes, I can. I am willing and I'm able. And then the devil comes very quickly and says if god could move didn't man of god pray for you in by march didn't your pastor fast seven days for you and you say it's true oh, that's the devil tonight your faith must be open your faith must rise to the heavens to say lord i don't want to leave this place just knowing i'm blessed i want to know what happened to me i want to hold a substance god is speaking to someone here this this sharing the grace and say ah were you blessed oh my god miracle service was powerful that's not a blessing no you can hold on to something and know that i left this place what happened the pain is gone i left this place what happened that before the grace is shared you check your phone and all of a sudden a text that you have been waiting for for five years now that's an evidence this is what we are talking about all of a sudden you are sitting down while you are seeing me preach you have been trusting god for that prophetic grace and while the preaching is going all of a sudden your eyes are open you are saying so this is what apostle is saying and you are seeing the power of god touching somebody and then you hear me say there's someone here and you're saying my god i've gotten this elisha knew when he got it elisha knew when he got it he went to the sea where is the lord god of elijah and the river parted you are trusting god for the grace for revelation that before the meeting is over 
all of a sudden scriptures it's as if it's an injection from your spirit you are just connecting one revelation to this and you're saying, I, I can't remember studying this and then you discern that something is happening something is happening that heaviness has gone where is the fear yesterday night i couldn't sleep the fear of death is gone listen philemon chapter 1 and verse 6 says that the communication of your faith might become effectual through the acknowledging of every good thing that is in you in christ if you don't expect it and you don't pay attention to it if i ask this gentleman to give me water i'm expectant i'm not expecting a handkerchief i'm expecting water anything i see that looks like water is attracting my attention a double-minded man let that man not think he will receive anything from god thank god for people falling and flying up and down but your eyes is stayed like a flint lord i left lagos this morning and i came here i left bielsa and i came here my car almost had an accident lord i would have been in a convention now as a man of god i left it to be here i'm looking for something let something come from heaven and your hunger is like a force that is drawing something from heaven and all of a sudden boom i tell you in one minute I remember many years ago when I was standing in the rain at Bonke Crusade. There were crowds of people like this. I didn't know what who wore. Whether you wore red or green or blue. My eyes were fixed. Lord, what did you give this man that made every nation to open to him? What kind of man is this that no one criticizes him? Abba. I didn't just go there to receive anointing for miracles alone. No. When it came, I knew that I got it. I knew that I got it. Listen, my brothers and my sisters, you can know that the load has been lifted. You can know that the prayer has been answered. You can know that the project is a done deal. Are we together? The grace is here. More than available for you. And whilst we begin to pray, don't just watch others receive. Be sensitive. You are the one who knows what you are here for. Are we together? In one minute, I'd like you to open your mouth and cry. Mention specifically, why are you here? Talk to the Lord. Please pray. Please pray. Pray with all your heart. Lord, I had a young man testify that you gave him properties. I had a young lady, born, had never smelled. She was not in a miracle service, just listening to a message. And all of a sudden, the healing power of God touches that lady and that's it. Lord, I'm tired of this lump. Lord, I'm tired of this medical report. I'm tired of watching my mother cry, my father cry. I'm tired of my ministry not growing. I'm tired of staying at a particular level in the anointing. Lord, I've heard testimonies of favor. I have an idea of what happens when a man is carrying favor. But Lord, I don't see it yet in my life. I'm here tonight for this one reason. Lord, even after the deliverance series, I've been seeing certain things happen in my life and my family that pre-informs me that I will still need a second touch a second touch over my family my loved ones are not born again Lord I can't watch them go to hell like this
don't be tired of praying please cry from the depth of your heart Lord I'm not going back with this disease I'm not going back with this medical report no way no way no way I insist I'm not going back barren tired of miscarriages the universe what can't you do what can't you do Jesus you're the name above every other name what can't you change what can't you change Jesus one more time creator Creator of the universe, what can't you do? What can't you do, Jesus? I want you to see the Lord lifting your burden. You're the name above every other name. What can't you change? What can't you change, Jesus? You are able, great and mighty God. You are able, Jesus. You are able, great and mighty God. You are able. I will continue to read it for you Isaiah chapter 61 please give it to us the messianic prophecy Jesus's own manifesto he's saying this is what I came to do Isaiah 61 it says the Spirit of the Lord we are reading from verse 1 to 4 is upon me because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek he had sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives. Start looking for your own as I'm reading. And the opening of the prison to them that are bound. Verse 2. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all those that mourn. 3. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion to give them beautiful ashes the oil of joy for mourning the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness that they might be called the oaks of righteousness the planting of the Lord that he might be glorified for and they shall build the old wastes they shall raise up the former desolations they shall repair waste cities he says the desolations of many generations i like you to pray whatever needs to be fixed in your life and family insist that tonight is the night when it will happen overflow one pray overflow two overflow three by the roadside those following from around the world open up your heart and pray from the depth of your heart
Alléluia. Alléluia. The Lord just showed me something like a train. You know, a speed train, not like we have it now. Just like a train, just pass like this. And I believe in my spirit that that is a typology of a grace for speed. Listen, we are going to pray now. And like I always say, you'll find out when I pray, you're going to see people running around in and out. Please just guide them and bring them out. Ushers, whether you are an usher or not, the ushers can only do so much. I want to pray. Once I pray that prayer, listen, please, I don't want you to get, listen, please, hold on. I don't want, it, the idea is not about people falling down, carrying them. Please, let your spirit be open. Be open for when your word will come. Be open for when God will visit and locate you. That, that's, that's what you're here for. So I want to pray that prayer now. I'm seeing a lot of those people at overflow one a lot of the people who will be affected by this prayer are in overflow one the overflow outside you see let me tell you this when a man listen when a man does not have speed in his life you don't have the entire lifetime to do all that you should do it it takes more than just power right Please help those in Overflow 1, my God. I'm seeing very strange angelic activities happening already at Overflow 1 outside. Now, listen. When there is no speed in your life, listen. Imagine that I have to walk from here to maybe the roadside and I'm tiptoeing on one leg. Am I moving? Yes, sir. But when will you arrive there? The pressure that you will mount on this leg, it will affect you to a point that you may not even stand it. And so God, when he wanted Elijah to move, because he had already been delayed, the Bible says the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah. He was empowered of the spirit and he ran. I, I, I'm, I'm saying this before I pray so that you don't just think it's about anointing and people running around. No. When that grace comes upon you, what God is saying is, I'm ready to shift you. That within a short time, you will see a lot happen in your life. In three days, the work of redemption was done. Three days. This powerful redemption did not happen in 12 years. It happened in three days. By the end of three days, Jesus had ascended, poured his blood, returned back. He was ready. He was now to launch the church. Big things don't have to take plenty time. When the hand of God comes upon you, you will see that a defining moment in your life can happen so fast. Are you ready now? Lift your hands. I want to pray. I will do the praying. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord is asking me to shout Jesus, not you now. I'm the one shouting Jesus. I'm going to shout it and at the third time, I tell you it's going to be an avalanche of the power of God. Let me have those people out. Lord, you are bringing speed to your people. And I know that there are angels all around. It's time to change people's levels. And even as you have instructed me, oh God, as I declare that name that is above every other name, I pray that anyone under the sound of my voice who has been crippled in one position, that in the name of the God of heaven, an anointing will shift that person into his destiny. Jesus, that's number one. Mm. Jesus, that's number two. Get ready now. Shabalakata. Jesus. Let that anointing right now. I shift men. Speed. Kabarakatosha. Speed to your life. Oh God, let every delay be broken now. I command the spirit of delay. Be broken. Speed. I shift you by the power of the Holy Ghost. Help that woman. Please help that mama there. Shakatoka tabarakata. 
please help them whether you are an usher or not speed speed in the name of jesus i command everything that has refused to move in your life i move it by the power of the holy ghost i'm still praying i'm still praying the holy ghost is moving you except this prayer is not for you there is an anointing that must shift you must shift you by the power of the holy ghost Lord shift them to their destinies please you will need to help the ushers whether you are an usher or not just, just help them there's only so much we can do there's no power that keeps you down this is miracle service lift your hands please I'm praying for some of you now it's the same prayer but it's no longer just for you you may not be experiencing it but your family needs speed the anointing now is moving from individuals to families lord where are the families that need the shift of the holy ghost i decree and declare right now i speak by this apostolic and prophetic grace families be shifted now speed 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 Speed, Kaparakoto Shegeta, Ebrekete, Kete, Kete, Kete. I decree it, I declare it. I decree it and I declare it. Shapakato Katabala Katosh. No more delay. I stretch my hands I'm seeing an angel of the Lord just on this road I stretch my hands right now I move people God is moving people here I decree it I declare I decree I declare I decree I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus it must work for you I shift you no more delay in your life this lady wearing hijab right now the lord is shifting you that lady in the name of jesus i stretch my hands let the anointing of the spirit take away delay from your life right now in the name of jesus now all those in front i'm praying any chain that has tied anyone's leg or any family at the count of three i speak into the realm of the spirit those chains go now one two three go 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 i lose those families now I command chains be broken now let the families be set free in the name of Jesus young lady lift your hands you you put in your hand on your mouth. yes i'm seeing an angel pouring oil on you and the lord is saying that he's shifting things i'm seeing like a chain on your head being broken now i stretch my hands right now in the name of jesus let that chain be broken let that chain i command that devil i'm seeing a snake in the spirit let her go now in the name of jesus hallelujah be sensitive i want to pray a very serious prayer now he said behold i give you authority over snakes and scorpions 
if you don't like the prayer i'm praying no problem but i want to pray a dangerous prayer i'm seeing snakes this is what i'm seeing over families now let me tell you this reptilian objects is a representation of the spirit of sorcery in the name that is above all names i declare every spirit that has caged any family here i decree and i declare right now by the power of the holy ghost in the name of jesus and at the count of three everyone shout jesus as you shout jesus i see fire everywhere inside and outside there is massive deliverance about to happen i command every devil and every activity of sorcery to leave now one two three in the name of jesus i crush satan i crush his works inside outside i command every power every force go now go now hallelujah please be sensitive just give me the volume i'm seeing fire by my left and right just bring out all the people that fall under the anointing now as i'm walking here in the name of jesus i command that devil you must go now you must go now you must go now i declare it by the anointing of the holy ghost as soon as i come close to you that fire and there is an anointing you can't stand it it's impossible as soon as i come close to you as soon as I come close to you, that fire, there is a judgment. Let them go now. I'm coming this way. Right now, in the name of Jesus, the power of God is coming this area, this direction. Let them go now. Release them. I come by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Let them go now. Let them go now. Release them. I'm seeing someone here tied around the stomach. Release them now. Let them go. In the name of Jesus, let them go now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. I stretch my hands here. Right now. The fire of God is setting people free now. Lose them, lose them, lose them, lose them, lose them, lose them now, lose them, lose them in the name of Jesus, lose them now. Those outside, lift your hands. God is about to set you free. Please, I like you to pray. Everyone pray. Enough is enough tonight. Everyone pray everyone pray now listen overflow one listen to me listen you don't have to touch me please you don't have to touch me but in the name of jesus hear me the lord brought me out here because the time has come for something to leave someone as soon as i pass here i don't have to come close to you you are going to feel fire all all over that fire that will be the end of it you must testify right now i stretch my hands right right now it's over over now Shakos Katarika, a Keto Santa Ricata, Embreketo Seketa, a Kato Sekriaka, Manta Brekotos. Let them go, let them go, let them go, let them go, let them go now. The spirit of sorcery, I cause it now. The spirit of witchcraft, I cause it now. Please help your neighbors so they don't enjoy themselves. Go, go, be free. I command that power by fire. By fire, by fire, it leaves you now. Those of you here, I want you to lift your hands. Overflow two. Overflow two, lift your hands. Let me go to the front there. Enough is enough. As I pass this place, listen, I want you to be very sensitive. There is a strong anointing tonight. Overflow two please help your neighbors i'm only going to pass here right there 
as soon as I come close to you, except God is not God, if there is any force holding you, holding your life and your ministry, it must go right now. Right now, in Jesus' name, be free. Be free now. Be free now. Be free now. I command those devils, go, 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 go. Kapaka toketaka. Let them go, go. Go now. Release them. Release them. Release them. Every covenant, release them. I break that power now. Now, now, now. Be broken. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now, listen. I didn't know we have an extra overflow here. I want to pray for those by the side here. As I stretch my hands to you, please don't waste your time. I'm seeing fire already. Here. In the name of Jesus, at the count of three, those of you by the roadside, one, two. Let them go by the power of the Holy Ghost. I release you. Please help them so they don't injure themselves. I declare, I decree and I declare, you are free. Praise the Lord. Overflow 3, your life is about to change. Listen. Listen. Honestly, there is, there is an anger in my spirit. Because as I entered, I'm just seeing chains everywhere. Right now, in the name of Jesus, at the count of 3, bring all of them out. From the front to the back. Right now, at the count of 3, Overflow 3, all of you shout Jesus. 1, 2, 3. Every power, bring them out. Every yoke, every force, every operation of darkness, bring them out. I'm seeing chains on people's feet. Chains, chains, chains be broken now. Be broken now, be broken now, be broken now, be broken now. Change, be broken now. Hallelujah. Bring them out. Overflow three, lift your hands and see praying. Listen. I'm seeing, I'm seeing patterns. Something that is not just happening to you alone. Happening to your father, your mother. As soon as I pray now, I'm seeing fire all over this place. Anyone under that case, you must be free now. At the count of three, anyone holding any pattern, any generational thing, in the name that is above all names, at the count of three, one, two, three. Shout Jesus! Bring them out! That devil must let you go today. My God, look at what God is doing in Overflow 3. Shaprakato shekete skaba embrekato koto shabaria. Look at what God is doing in this place. Hallelujah. Listen to me. The Lord is showing me. I'm coming back. But I don't know why God is, is, is on the case of overflow 3. The Lord is showing me some of you. I'm seeing you are climbing a ladder. But that ladder breaks down and brings you down. You see things as if it's supposed to happen. But a force draws you back. The moment someone wants to lift you, you will have a dream in the night. And in that, in that dream, someone will come to sleep with you. Or something will happen. Right now at the count of three, shout Jesus. I command those devils. One, two, three. Let them go now. 
let them go now total emancipation Hallelujah. Jakakos kaparusi kata hasana katushia. Embrekata katos kata breketish. Now, now, all those who are under the anointing here outside, I pass a decree that every power that has held you, I speak as one send. At the count of three, let them go. One, two, three, go, 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 let them go. Lose your hold over their lives. Let them go now. Let them go now. Let them go now. Hallelujah. I'm inside this place now. And I'm standing in the spirit. I've not started impartation yet. But the Lord is showing me the number 12. And the Lord is saying there are 12 people here. There is a strong call upon your life. There is a mighty anointing. Lord, where are they? Shakatos kapakarikata. Drink of that wine. Mantekatos ketekekata. Shaprakata. A ministry of signs and wonders. Ministry of signs and wonders. A ministry of signs and wonders. A ministry of signs and wonders. Signs and wonders. Signs and wonders. I'm still praying. The anointing of the spirit is still locating men. I don't know why God is talking about ministry. The call. Don't run away from the call. Don't run from the call. A ministry of signs and wonders. The Lord is telling someone, you are the liberator of your family. A ministry of signs. Signs, 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 signs. There are ladies here entering that ministry of signs and wonders signs and wonders hallelujah main auditorium lift your hands i'm seeing i'm seeing a distribution of the healing anointing going on in the main auditorium and i stretch my hands from here it doesn't matter what overflow you just be sensitive to what god is doing main auditorium i'm seeing eight people eight people in the main auditorium at the count of three right now in the name of jesus fire will come upon your hands i'm prophesying to the main auditorium but everybody can receive I decree and declare that healing anointing one two three let that anointing come now let it come now fresh fire hallelujah listen listen I'm seeing oh my god the Lord is opening my eyes here I'm I'm seeing someone don't don't be ashamed and don't be embarrassed your father I don't know if I'm seeing something like a priest this is someone that worships something like an idol is in your house I'm not saying you're a bad person please I'm not saying you're a bad person you grew up seeing this happen that they worship those idols that gentleman is here in overflow three or oh, 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 here please who is that person come i want to break that thing now from your life please quickly please make sure you hear what i say before you come just let make way for them mm. the power of witchcraft young man you're going to be a mighty man of God. I don't know you. Lift your hands. An anointing is coming upon you now. Huh? It will shift you to a realm of signs and wonder. Or let that anointing come upon him right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hold my hands, my dear. The power of idols. In the name of Jesus. I break that force now. I break that force now. I break that force now. 
testimony of breakthrough for you and for your family in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus hallelujah I'm praying listen I stretch my hands towards you and I speak I don't know what it is that you have been involved in but in Jesus name I'm stretching my hands why am I seeing fire leaving my hands who is it looking for in the name of Jesus Christ I command everything that is not of God be broken now the blood be broken now by the blood be broken now by the blood be broken now by the blood be broken now hallelujah just two more things I'll do here whether I'm in this overflow or not I just stood here to show you that it makes no difference I know the larger congregation is here lift your hands all of you if you can just lift it as high to the heavens now I'm seeing you don't have to come out but I'm seeing keys in the spirit listen this is access to a new dimension and I'm seeing the number 44 just lift your hands you don't need to say anything father I stand as one sent those keys are locating families and locating people it may be a key that explains why things have not been working Lord from the front to the back like a mighty wind whoever must receive that key receive it now receive it now receive it now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ let her go now out out now now this lady wearing a red hair tie in the name of Jesus I'm seeing a grace that is coming let that anointing come upon you in the name of Jesus Christ let that anointing come upon you hallelujah overflow three I'm seen by the Spirit the Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing the names of members of your family like written already written already I'm going to pray listen except God has not sent me as I'm praying some of you instantly the power of God will come upon you and God is going to open your eyes you are going to see victory and deliverance in fact I see a family where three of your siblings they've married none of them has a child none of them at all has a child they've done everything to do but there's no child but I stand in the name of the Lord father where are those families right now like a mighty wind like a mighty wind oh god let it end right now let there be an opening let there be an opening let there be an opening in the name that is above all names let there be an opening young lady come call that lady for me call this gentleman too this man yes bring him in the name of jesus you need to be delivered i command the spirit that torments you to go now by the power of the Holy Ghost I release you my dear hold my hands to you I'm seeing that your life is about to change two weeks from now it will surprise you what the Lord is going to do in your life I decree and I declare it over your life I stand by the anointing and I pray for you father according to your word within two weeks turn this lady's life around supernaturally in the name of Jesus Emeka, who is Emeka? 
Emeka. I'm hearing a name Emeka. Overflow three here. I'm just talking to Overflow three people. Emeka, Emeka. Please quickly, please quickly. Don't waste that time. Where is that gentleman? What's your name? I want to pray. What do you do? I'm going to pray for you. You are not from this place. You came for NYC. I want to pray. Lift your hands. Because I'm seeing, look at me. The Lord is giving you the grace for wealth. Huh? I want you to believe it. But every prosperity that does not have an assignment will end up destroying the people. You love Jesus with all your heart? I want to pray for you. It will surprise you the way God will begin to turn things around in your life. Father, change this gentleman's story in the name of Jesus forever. Overflow 3, I'm still praying. The spirit of prophecy is coming on nine people. I will count four at the fourth count. One, two, three. Where are they, oh God? Four. Nine people. Nine people. The spirit of prophecy. The spirit of prophecy. All of you open your mouth and begin to pray. Everything you desire. Overflow three. Open your mouth and decree. Open your mouth and decree. I'm seeing an anointing around here. Who is that person? I stretch my hands. I'm seeing chains breaking just within this region as I'm standing here. Father, let the chains be broken now. The anointing of the Spirit. Find that person. Let the chains be broken right now. 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 Be broken now. Please, everyone pray. Everyone pray. Everyone pray. Everyone pray. Hold on. There's someone here. The Lord is saying, I'm rolling away your shame. I'm seeing light. As I was just passing, I just saw light. Two people. Let the anointing find those people now. Two people. Right now, I decree. Overflow two. Right now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I decree and declare by the anointing of the Holy Ghost shame reproach let it go now shame reproach let it go now shame reproach help them let it go now in the name of Jesus Christ who is Gabriel 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 I'm hearing a name who is Gabriel is there someone like that you are wearing a maroon you are wearing like maroon kaftan Gabriel Maroon Kaftan. Is there someone like that? What's your name? Do I know you? Lift your hands, my brother. God is about to change your life. God is about to turn your life around. Uh, where are you coming from? I want to pray for you. You love Jesus. What is? Is it Oleku or Aleku? What is that? Huh? Huh? Where are you from? Benway State. You are from Benway State. This is what has tied down your life and your family. I want to pray for you. I'm not a herbalist there. Father, in the name of Jesus, let this gentleman be free right now. I command that devil to leave you now. Just keep him there. In the name of Jesus. These two people, this gentleman, you, yes, and the lady by you, come quickly. Please. Blow, blow, blow like a mighty wind. Spirit of victory, what do you do, my friend? You're a student, you love Jesus. I want to pray for you. Huh? Yes, Are you together? Yes, sir. Because I saw light on husband and wife. Yes, please. Well, I'm not going to discuss your issue now, but two of you need deliverance. Eh? You love Jesus, but you need serious deliverance based on what I'm seeing now. Huh? You are not husband and wife yet, but I'm seeing a lot of stories. Father, in the name of Jesus, look at me. You're going to be very wealthy, but the first thing you need to edit are your friends. Huh? Hear what I'm telling you. Huh? 
my, uh, my sister, you know what I'm saying, right? Huh? Yes, so your friends, huh? Confirm, sir. Listen to me. You are not truly born again if your friends don't change. Hear it from me. All this born again that is one leg and you have all kinds of friends. If if I am a drunkard and you are not a drunkard but we are staying together, I'm close to a drunkard. That means I can be implicated by everything a drunkard can be implicated by. Is that true? So, my friend, you love God, eh? But you see, um, look at what I'm doing. One leg in, one leg out. Huh? Don't be embarrassed. When I make the altar call, you need to run and come quickly. Jesus is not just some religious thing that you just run to. Just for, No, 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 no. Let, let's take God serious and take him. Look what I see, my friend. I see God turning your life in a way that will surprise you. But friends, and this is not just a message to this gentleman alone. It's a message to many of us. Because the demons that destroy our lives work by bringing wrong friends they make you compromise your values it's not your fault but when they come they are vocal about what they believe and because you do not have a community of like-minded believers but let me tell you the truth it matters who you listen to if the devil positions a wrong person to counsel you and they give you a counsel of a hit or fail God may be calling you to a great ministry, but you will hear a counsel that would destroy God's purpose over your life. I pray for everyone here that in the name of Jesus, if you are under the yoke of wrong friends, I stand and I speak right now. May the Lord set you free this night. In the name of Jesus Christ. My dear, there is favor on your life, but it's not speaking at all. Hmm? You are a nice lady come i'm looking at you i'm seeing a young lady but i'm seeing the face of you and another old woman flashing me and going back see wickedness is real oh let me tell you my brothers and my sisters wickedness is real huh this is a young beautiful lady you see her standing but you now look at it do you know let me explain something whatever overflow just listen i want to explain something you see this is the mistake that we men of God make sometimes. I can look at a beautiful lady like this now and see the face of an old woman. And if my word base is not sound and balanced, I will, I will interpret the vision I've seen verbatim and now call her a witch. You see the mistake we make? That we call people and then assuming now they are married, I will now advise him and say, Mr. Man, you married a witch. Oh. You, do you know what it means to be a witch? So God is, you see that God is, is balancing a lot of things in our lives. Let's be careful. Because sometimes we may see a vision. I already know what is happening. It is true that the lady needs help. But it doesn't mean, imagine that I look at this lady now and say, my dear, you're a witch. No, this is a lovely, she has a beautiful heart. I already see by the spirit. Very beautiful heart. But it, beauty and a good heart does not take away oppression. It takes the power of God. How terrible art thou in your ways. Through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves. So many of you are here. You find out for instance. The moment you enter a relationship. Come for instance. As you mean I enter a relationship with this lady. And you find out that there may be something wrong in her life. And it starts affecting me. Have you seen that happen? I'm doing well in business. But just because I married this lady. I start going down. And now you meet a man of God. And if, the man, if you are in ministry here, please be careful. You have to trust God for grace to be balanced. Are we together? I can now look at this lady and say, Ah, your wife is the reason behind your failure. Um, what I'm trying to say is that, Oh, there might be a spirit connected to her that is affecting me and the works of my hands. But it doesn't mean she's bad. A good man of God will bring about that separation. And then through the transforming power of the word, now help this couple to stand and become the best of couple because a body without a spirit is dead so it's not about condemning and destroying the body are you getting it now so my dear let me tell you you're a wonderful lady huh we're going to deal with this nonsense now this whatever it is that the devil is because this thing is affecting your life you don't know why 
good things don't come to you you are a very nice lady hold my hands father hold it with both of your hands i decree and declare ah. i'm seeing fire leaving my hands in the name of jesus i command this devil i'm seeing through the face of this old woman be gone now my dear i set you free and i open the door of favor for you right now please everybody lift your hands i'm seeing i've not seen this in a long time i'm seeing the map of nigeria and i'm seeing an anointing going to benway state benway state now benway state you are from benway state you see that that power will touch you even if you don't know what state you are from benway state lord where is in the name of jesus the power of god is bringing deliverance benway state in the name that is above all names in the name that is above all names in the name of jesus madam i'm going to pray for you two things i'm seeing that the devil wants to put stroke complete stroke the devil wants to paralyze you from head to toe but we're going to destroy that now in the name of jesus hold my hands i decree and declare be free now by the power of the holy spirit madam i don't know you but ah you please come Hi. this is your first time coming i need to pray for you what do you do ma you are jobless ma huh i'm looking at you and i'm seeing in the realm of the spirit two of your hands are tied there is nothing you do that works and prospers it's not normal you are a very good woman please don't be embarrassed i hope i'm not embarrassing you i want to pray for you i give you three weeks 21 days ma your life will turn around in a way that will surprise you i lay my hands right now and i declare i'm seeing chains leaving you i command those chains to go father turn her life around in the name of jesus in the name of jesus please open your mouth and begin to pray hold on hold my hands in the name of jesus christ i open that closed door now i open that closed door now by the power of the holy ghost please open your mouth and begin to pray everyone open your mouth and pray the lord is asking me to stand here just here just to stand here because the lord is bringing breakthrough here and here here and here right now here and here i command right now by the power of the holy spirit every planting that is not of god i uproot it now i uproot it now i uproot it now lift your voice and begin to pray please lift your voice and begin to pray in the name of jesus lift your voice and begin to pray lift your voice and begin to pray hallelujah praise the lord i know our time is gone we're going to be very fast sir you're welcome sir can i pray for you sir why are they here priest you sir you are a priest i served my father served and died sorry where are you from sir i'm from my sir i want to pray for you the bible says even the lawful captives even the lawful captives my brothers and my sisters you will be surprised to see what happens in your life after this miracle service this this woman come madam you yes come please quickly come we're out of time say in jesus name say it in jesus name my life is about to change say it again say in jesus name reproach is leaving me now in the name of jesus let it go forever in jesus name sir i hold your hands and in the name of jesus every ordinance that is not of god help him i command that it is broken right now you are an elderly man but i use you as a point of contact we break every ordinance of darkness this this lady too priest you your dad your father is a priest currently oh where ocean state don't be embarrassed eh? you are here because jesus wants to help you lord jesus 
it is not your will that any man perish but that everyone comes to the knowledge of the truth i deliver this lady right now everything they have given you to drink and eat i stand by the rod of a higher priesthood and i set you free now be gone now out let it leave her i'm seeing that the father has given her so many things in her life but in the name of jesus Hi. jesus power is really super power really super power that in one moment something that has been done in a lifetime can live out now everything that is not of god our father is a priest or not her uncle direct father imagine how many times she has been involved in all of these things but in jesus name you are set free this this man too why is he here look at my eyes just look at my eyes you are receiving the healing anointing now huh? in the name of jesus christ lord grant him access to the healing anointing your healing power now oh dear our time is gone this is sometimes i honestly wish that this is because there are so many things i see but we have to work with time this lady you come hurry up now please come uh, we're out of time wonderful lady look at me you are a savior to your family you hear what i said you are a savior you may look small but you are a savior to your family the only thing is that you need to continually be serious with god your heart with him your heart with him hold my hands father in the name of jesus i take away distraction from her life right now by the anointing of the holy spirit i take away distraction i take away distraction okay we have we've not even prayed for the sick girl. my dear come this lady waving your hands come quickly your life is about to change come where are you coming from you are coming from abuja yes, i'm here with my husband husband yeah. where are you sir let's clap for the husband <laughs> two of you came from abuja last time you came with for som came. i can't remember you came with you oh your son was a graduate of som no we came with him oh okay so graduate I want to pray. What do you do, sir? Um, I'm a minister of God. But at the same time, I do business. But it's sir, okay. I want to pray for you. Eh? Things are not working. You need the anointing. You are a sincere man. My dear, the prophetic grace is coming on you as I'm speaking now. In the name that is above all names, I stretch my hands. That anointing. You will start having dreams. Receive that grace. Two of you need empowerment. Ministry ministry without genuine empowerment will make it look as if you are wasting your time are you a man of god stand up stand up take that anointing now in the name of jesus you step into a new dimension i take away shame and reproach from your life and ministry from today you step into a realm of signs wonders miracles in the name of jesus can i pray for you sir look at me hold my hands hold my hands just hold it with both of your hands in the name of jesus i transfer grace signs and wonders strange testimonies your business between now and 30th of november sir your finances will change you and your wife in ways that will surprise you you will come back and testify in the name of jesus christ this man waving your hands come together with that woman by your side who is she come please two of you quickly let's appreciate them as they come oh, 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 oh. you sir i want to pray for you ah. madam i'm looking at you you're a nice woman but i'm seeing you carrying a load huh 
I'm seeing you like this and I'm seeing a load on your head. And if I don't pray for you, this load is going to destroy you. I want to pray for you. Where are you coming from? Are you new here? Uh, by Elsa. By Elsa. Hmm. All the way. I think we should appreciate them. What do you do, sir? I'm a pastor. You're a pastor. You're in ministry, both of you? Evangelist. My ministry is separate. Your ministry is separate, evangelist. but both of you came from yes, Bielsa. You're an evangelist. Yes. You pastor a church? Yes, sir. How long has it been? Okay, I was with, uh, about four years now in Bielsa. But you were saying? somewhere? Yes, I was in Abuja. You were in Abuja? Yes. And then you left Abuja and went to Bielsa. Mm -hmm. Do you know what happened? Is it your church now? You're serving someone else's church. Okay, I want to pray for you. Because what I see God do through your life, I'm seeing God giving you two things. The grace for leadership, number one. Number two, the grace for finances. These two graces, God is giving it to you. I don't know you, sir. I'm seeing you for the first time. Ma, you are an evangelist. I'm going to pray for you. What do you do? You hold crusades and all of that? No, I, I usually have meetings every month and then I speak on radio. I have a live radio. I do my evangelical on radio. And then oh, you TV. do a live radio? Yes, live radio talk show. Three things. One, barrenness. Two, poverty. Three, witchcraft. You are carrying the grace to smash nonsense out of these three things as you are going back. Don't forget. Huh? The same grace on you, I'm seeing it come on this lady. This one. This one. This lady I'm talking to. I want to pray for you. Sir, this thing is an election of grace. You see, I'm, I'm also a spectator. The same way you are watching. Me too, I'm watching. With wonder and shock, the way this thing works. That God can just change a man's life overnight overnight evangelist my hold my hands father this is a dear woman of god all the way from bielsa i stand by the anointing of the holy spirit and i declare fresh anointing fresh dimensions in the spirit and i pray madam the lord is asking me to pray for your finances seriously for your finances and then the lord is saying i should tell you to pray for faithful workers I'm seeing you do a program for women when you go back. This thing I'm seeing is going to be a powerful program. There is a program in Abuja that looks like what you would do. It's called When Women Pray. I'm seeing that same kind of grace on you. That you are going back to Bielsa and God is giving you uncommon grace for women. In the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare you carry that grace right now, madam. My God will honor you. Ah! In the name of Jesus, supernatural grace. Drink of that wine, sir. I'll pray for you. The grace for leadership, the grace for finance. But I'm, ah, it's not only pastoring I'm seeing you do. What else do you do? I manufacture paint. You manufacture paint. That's right. Sir, what am I seeing? This is somebody, it's, it's not directly the government. But this is somebody that is connected to the government. The Lord is going to connect him to you. It's, it has something to do with supplies. That thing will make you millions overnight in a way that it will surprise you. Please write it. You will see it happen. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for this man of God. I stretch my hands. Drink of that wine. That anointing. Drink of that wine. You will never be the same. I stretch my hands. I take away every limitation from your life. And I decree and I declare, your life turns around from today. In the name of Jesus. Give Jesus praise. Goodness. 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 Can we still pray for the sick? We can't close this without praying for the sick. In the name of Jesus be healed from it now I command that devil that virus go now in the name of Jesus you go and write your test bring back your results God listen 
I, can we? Time is gone. Oh dear. You see how sometimes this thing, we are really constrained. That's why we do our best. The healing anointing is already flowing. God wants to heal. Maybe I'll just pray. I'll just pray for the sick from here. We'll do it that way. Right? But make no mistakes. Just that you, that you are not coming out doesn't mean I want to pray for you now. We'll take a few testimonies now. In the last three or four months, I have seen, I don't know why this happens, but I have seen a dimension of the healing power of God. Very creative miracles. So I want to pray. You are trusting God for a miracle. Lay your hand right now on your body quickly. I want to pray for you now. Please believe God for a miracle. Now, this is what will happen. Overflow. One, two, three. The roadside. And then those following us online. Our time is gone. But as soon as I pray for you now. I pray for you. The power of God is going to come upon you. I'm going to ask you to check yourself. Praise the Lord. We may not take all the testimonies. But since we have chosen this method now. As soon as I pray, I ask you to check yourself. You will be surprised what has happened to you. And whether you are in overflow one, two, or three, I'm going to ask you to run very quickly. You're going to come right here. Pastor Jimmy will be here with Pastor Alpha. They will just check you and we'll take one or two of the testimonies and I'll just confirm that. Um, how many of you brought your prayer request? Let me see. Did you bring your prayer request? Okay, ushers, this is what you, I want you to do. PR department, help them. Protocol, please help them. While I'm praying for the sick, I think we can do it too. Your prayer request, please make sure that your prayer request or that of your loved ones get to the ushers. Just lift it. The ushers have a system of collecting it. You don't have to be rowdy. Those outside. You can pass it to the last person in the aisle if you will not bring any confusion. You can have that very quickly, please. Lay your hands now. I want to pray. Jesus. A lady in overflow one is going to shout a loud shout for everybody to hear as soon as that shout happens i'll begin to pray for the sick very loud shout from overflow one a strong anointing is coming on that person the moment that happens that's the shout there now i'm ready to pray for the sick in the name Please agree with me, everyone, in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare right now. Those under the anointing, you don't have to bring them out. I'm, I'm praying now. Every spirit of infirmity, please make sure you are hearing me, overflow one, two, three. Every spirit of infirmity, right now, by the power of the Holy Ghost, I curse you now. I curse you now. Say amen. I curse you now in the name of Jesus. I command every spirit behind every infirmity over anyone's life. Be healed now in Jesus' name. Be healed, my God. The power of God is touching people already. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Overflow one, two, three by the roadside. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Now I command every blood condition. Be healed from it now in Jesus' name. Peptic ulcer. The Lord is healing ulcer right now. Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Lumps, all kinds of lumps, multiple lumps. I command those devilish lumps to live now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing a number of people having um, hepatitis. The Lord is healing hepatitis right now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Eye conditions. In the name of Jesus. You're going to feel fire just come to your eyes.
be healed right now in the name of Jesus be healed in the name of Jesus every pain that has to do with the bones I decree and declare let the power of God touch you right now there's someone you have severe pain around your back just right here your lumbar vertebra in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands be healed right now in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name there's someone you don't hear well with your this is left left ear and then sometimes you just hear like a sharp you know how bees are that sound the power of God is touching you right now in the name of Jesus every kind of fibroid every kind of growth in your stomach in the name of Jesus be healed from it now be healed from it now be healed from it now now whether I mention your case or not whatever is wrong with you I stretch my hands and I declare be healed in the name of Jesus be healed in the name of Jesus some of you when you fell under the anointing long before I started praying for the sick you got up and found out that you have been healed now overflow one if they are coming here for the healing please just clear the way for them overflow one overflow two overflow three and the roadside I'll give you a minute those online if you're healed you can you know just just send it as an inbox on our Facebook page or you can find a way to post it I want you to check yourself now within a minute or two the moment you find out that the power of God has touched you make your way some of you you get up under the anointing you find out that the pain there's a lady who has a severe case of bleeding go and check yourself the bleeding is gone gone completely and I'm seeing someone heaviness around the chest is just lifted gone like that please check yourself very quickly and come we may not take all the testimonies but at least let's take a few while we are doing that let me have all the prayer requests very quickly God bless you check yourself quickly Koinonia are you celebrating Jesus the Lord is touching people show them where to come look at look at God touching people already please make your way make your way the power of God has touched you those outside overflow one overflow two clear the way for them just come you can stand on the queue there and let's have one or two testimonies God bless you Koinonia are you celebrating miracles here yeah. Make your way. Be bold. Don't be ashamed. Make your way as soon as the power of God has touched you. Back pain since hold last on, year. Hold on, hold on, just a moment, please. All make sure if 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 your prayer request has not been collected, please. I want you to wave it. Jesus is still healing people. You just come join the queue. God bless you. Yes, please. Back pain since last year. Can you sit for a, a few minutes? Just sit for a few minutes, and then we're done. Let's just hear the testimonies. If as you are hearing the testimony, God is still healing people and i want you to make your way and then come to okay go ahead pastor Alpha. my god the... god is still touching people i'm seeing people being touched even in overflow three overflow three check yourself right now and make your way yes please you go mentioned ahead. the case of back pain she's been having the problems this last month back but pain. she's healed now how long come my dear let's have another mic please anytime we're doing this please technically it should be a standard procedure you should know what we're doing please so that we don't delay unnecessarily how long my dear since last month yes in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare it never returns again by the power of the holy spirit back pain gone forever heaviness in the chest disappeared how long my dear just when you came here in the name of jesus hold my hands um i'm seeing someone you had something like a a growth around your neck check it now you'll be surprised to find out it's gone gone completely gone completely by the power of the holy ghost gone completely in jesus name i declare that every operation of darkness over you is gone in jesus name give jesus praise deafness in the left ear since 2012 since 2012 oh come on koinonia how long my friend a man of god told me about 2012 and i prayed but i was hearing those b sounds and i don't hear really which of them put your hand there now in the name of Jesus it never never returns to you by the power of the Holy Spirit yes also you mentioned also how long yes. okay where are you from Kaduna State that's where you are from your state of origin 
Not biologically. Biologically, where yeah. are you from? I'm from each particular I mean, I'm from state. I don't know it There's a reason why I said this. There's a lot. You don't know where you are from. There is a long story. Leave the issue of healing now. Where? Eh? I need to pray for you. Don't feel bad. Huh? Look at me. Where are your parents? Who are you staying with? My mom and my, my stepdad at Kaduna. Okay, it's okay. I'll talk to you. Eh? Father, help this gentleman because this gentleman is a great gentleman, but there is a lot I'm seeing in your life. I crush the hand of darkness over your life now and I declare be free in Jesus' All name. Sir. Koinonia, you are pain. not celebrating. You are so used to miracles in this place. He was feeling the May pain, God but as you prayed for him, it left. It's gone completely. How long? Since July. July. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord perfect you. Apostle, you mentioned someone with pain at the back. It was her for the past three years. What's your name, my dear? Juliana. Juliana. You mentioned something, the lower... Uh, the the lower back pain. It affected her left leg also. This pain in Check her back. Check it now. Check it. Check it. Any pain is gone completely. Give Jesus three praise. Years. <laughs> In the name of Jesus Christ, it never returns to you again. Please make sure that we have the request. If you are still yet, if you are still with your own, wave it. Just wave it and an usher will come. Look at that man. And you are sitting quietly there. You wave it and let them know. Pain at the back, completely healed. Pain at the back. You fell under the anointing. Ah, see you looking. In the name of Jesus. It's, it's a good baguette, my friend. Huh? If you fall under the anointing, and your destiny arises, it's a wise bargain. Is that true? In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare, never again in your life. The power of God is coming on someone in overflow one. Overflow one. Please carry the person and bring the person. Overflow one. The overflow by the roadside. Overflow 2, sorry. Overflow 2, I meant to say. Ah, look how powerful the power of God is. I said overflow 1 and nothing happened. I just said overflow 2. Then I now went to say. She's had pain on the left, left shoulder since How long, my dear? Seven. Let her talk. How long? 2007. You've had what? I've had this pain. It will come and go, come and go. But today it has been intense. But when you mention the case, the pain left. It's gone completely. Check yourself. Do what you couldn't do. Up, down. Come. In the name of Jesus Christ. I will pray, but the person I'm talking about is overflow two. Overflow two. The overflow by the roadside. So you bring the person. In the name of Jesus. Perfection for you right now. In Jesus' name. She's had serious um, back pain that back she pain. had to start horse riding so that you can correct. But today they asked you to ride a gone. horse? Yes. Who said you should ride a horse? The doctor? Yeah. Or just advisors? <laughs> She's shy. <laughs> the horse. This is the man. It's amazing how you come for Koinonia minding yourself and you are surprised to see people just carrying you and you are wondering where am I going to? The anointing. Amazing. Let me just talk to them and then don't worry do your hosting eh i'm just happy that you are healed so you can go and ride your horse now for fun in the name of jesus you are perfected completely perfected in jesus name i take away this proverb called ikabod over your life and over your family i'm speaking to both of you now from overflow too in the name of jesus i set you free and I decree and declare that that proverb shall no longer be mentioned in your life. It will no longer be Ichabod in Jesus' name. I'm coming here, but you are the one I'm talking to. Where? Debbie. It's not the, this person. You hold this one. Don't worry. They'll hold her. In the name of Jesus, the Lord is saying he is going to use you to change everything in your family. It will be like a dream, but he is going to use you. He's making you a savior over your family. Don't ask how it's going to happen is by the anointing the spirit entered me when he spake unto me that god is going to use you and change everything in your family 
in the name of Jesus. Yes, go ahead. She's had severe menstrual pain since she started menstruating. That resulted in serious back pain. How Came old are you now? Pain this evening. Sir? How old are you now? 21. 21? And she's had severe menstrual pain? Yes. And she came here with the pain today. But the Don't pain is believe gone. that thing, oh. In the name of Jesus, I cancel it forever. Amen. Say amen. amen. By the power of the Holy Spirit, severe menstrual pain goes back to hell. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. amen. Yes, sir. She had headache, heaviness in the chest. Heaviness? In the chest. Okay. And then she had severe headache. And as she prayed for her, it totally and, left. And what? Hiccup. She's the heaviness used to make her hiccup. She was even hiccuping during the service. But as she prayed, she's totally healed. God bless you. Look at me. Where did you come from? Kaduna. Kaduna State. You are going back. Eh? Where's your mother? She's in Bauchi. When are you going to see her? I'm serving in Kaduna, so it has to be December. December. If I, if I give you an instruction for your mother, will you obey it? Huh? Look for 1,000 Naira recharge card. Eh? Send it to your mother to bless her and watch what happens in your life. You just do what I ask you to do. It's not some superstition. Please, you get my point. It's just the law of honor that will trigger something. I release my faith with you. Your mother is going to pray one prayer for you that looks like she's playing. But you watch what that play will do in your life. In she had ulcer, peptic ulcer. As she prayed for her, she was totally... Peptic healed. ulcer. How long? Put your hand on your chest. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare, peptic ulcer goes back to hell. In the mighty name of Jesus, goes to hell forever. She also had ulcer, but she also had kidney inflammation. She used to feel a sharp pain. She's been healed of the ulcer. Now when she presses the place before press she it. will feel, press it. Press it. Any pain? No pain. Gone completely. No. Come on, Koinonia. May God forgive you. May God, you people have seen signs and wonders too much to a point that God bless you. He had a sharp pain in his left side. Okay. You mentioned it. And then he also used to experience dizziness. That he would just be standing, be dizzy and then slump. But as you prayed for him, he was totally you just healed. slump like that? Yeah, they may even have to catch it. It happened, it happened once, August, August 26th. You just slump like that? Yes, I was falling and then my brother caught me. Come. What if you fall down like the epileptic patient that used to fall inside fire? The devil will just wait until you are crossing a bridge. Then that wicked spirit will come because he comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. In Jesus' name, I set you free. You are free now. You are free forever. In Jesus' name. Back pain disappeared. He's had back pain for a long time. Back pain, sir. Yes. In Jesus' name, let it go and go forever. Never to return again. In Sometimes the two eyes go blind, other times only the right one go blind, but now he's totally healed, he can see with both eyes. Have you gone to the hospital for this? But sometimes you just go blank like that. Come, in the name of Jesus, put your hands on your eyes. I decree and declare perfection. It's not just the bones are what give structures to a person, doctors tell us. That means that by this miracle, God is speaking through it, right? Like he's doing the miracle of Ezekiel 37, the bones coming back, be a restoration of it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. God bless you. Yes, please go ahead. So, back pain, he came here with waist pain, sorry. Waist pain. He came here with How long? serious pain. 2014. And now, it's gone. try to turn. It's gone. He Completely. squatted for me and um, no squat. You've not, you did it for him. Yes. You didn't do it for me. Ah. It looks like a footballer. Hello. Gone and gone forever. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. 
and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you